Hey there, and welcome to the 2013 Grimmies, HorribleNight.com's Games of the Year. Uh, I'm your host, Justin Lacey. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Justin Lacey. Woo! Joined in studio uh, this year. Uh, to my left, Andrew Cooper. Woo! Hey, what's up? Andrew Cooper! Woo! To my right, Aaron McNeil. Woo! Hey, everybody. I'm your Game of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Live from Germany is Ethan Moses. Yeah, hey. Ethan. <laughs> And our okay. wonderful host and uh, co-host, oh co-host, and and nemesis Jordan Wilson to the, to the show, yeah. representing the horrible night community, <laughs> all the uh, most terrible parts of it. I'm in chat too, so I'm okay. going to be giving them a hard time as well. Everybody, watch out! Don't spread yourself chat. thin. So this is our yearly award show and uh, deliberations podcast. We're going to break down over, well, not over exactly. 40 awards for the Games of the Year 2013. Um, we're going to break these up uh, into a few different sections. Uh, so we're going to go at these maybe eight at a time um, and then um, take some breaks. And then we're coming at you live on Twitch TV slash Horrible Night. And we'll also be posting this on HorribleNight.com next week um, in episodic format. So you can uh, focus on the uh, awards that you, you really care about. But we're going to work our way through here. This I don't know how long this is going to take. It's going to take all day. But, uh, 25 minutes. Yes, yes. Just Give or take 30. Uh, all the awards go Hours. to Cookie Clicker <laughs> and Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, for those of you drinking at home, that's the first Animal Crossing New Leaf mention, and you're two shots behind. So that was the second. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> Skyrim, 2013. So we've been growing our uh, awards list uh, each year, uh, bringing back some of the favorites, added some new ones, and we're going to kick things off uh, with the Best Brosif Award. Uh, this is... If I can pull up the actual description, your favorite companion or war buddy NPC from a 2013 game. What we're going to do is we've actually nominated several things in the background, several games in the background, and uh, our goal today is to f- come up with a final list of three, and then pick a winner out of those three. So using um, a coin toss. Yes. Yes. So and to preface, ask, yeah. using science. <laughs> to preface, I have not played any games this year or. Have any idea what these categories are or what the nominations are? So, so whenever Jordan is talking, <laughs> he's just stalling. So just, yeah, just so talking. just ignore when he, he's he, talking. He's a Bill O'Reilly of this podcast. <laughs> this so uh, I'm going to open up the floor as far as his nominations off the top of your head, um, Ethan. What jumps out? Best Brosif. Um, you know, I, I've 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 lacked a little bit of experience because again, I, I've I've played a bunch of games, but not necessarily the the, the bigger games. Um, but Elizabeth is probably the first one uh, from Bioshock Infinite, just because she's super full of power and and she's pretty friendly and she gives you treats, <laughs> pretty friendly, uh, treats, health, pretty friendly, yeah. uh, coins and that kind of stuff, and you don't have to even have to ask her. She's just like, hey, you want some treats? And you're like, well, yeah, I guess. A go rocket ahead, so. every now and again, yeah. Don't know where she finds those at. Those are all oh, those are nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually really. I mean, the the timing of their their coin flip always it, it always impressed me. Like like she'll be just across the map, need some money, flip that, no problem, catch every. Time. Well, and she's always bringing you back from the the, the, the dead yeah. man. And, yeah. and as somebody who who stupidly played it on hard mode, I mean, she was just <laughs> always like every every five minutes, you know, my vision would go black, and the first person I saw was Elizabeth. And to me, uh, that says a lot about you know being a good brosif is a good brosif is somebody who's who's willing to uh, save save your life from death. Because I don't know about I mean, you guys are pretty good friends. I don't know if I call you brosifs because I think if I died, you'd probably run away. If my I life was in danger, you give me, especially Jordan. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. not sure what. Jordan I'd buy a would ticket do. to Germany. If it was, da- if it was dangerous to come and <laughs> save you, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> probably, probably not. Well, that's the thing. She jumped right in the line. I mean, either, whether it was giant mechanic George Washington's or mm. whatever else, Bioshock could have threw at you. She'd just like you know avoid all gunfire and just get up there and and I would give make you a move. The, the hemlock I'd, I'd or the, uh, the mouth to mouth or you know whatever. <laughs> There's there's mouth to mouth DLC. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, I, I know what I know. What, I know what happened, and that would be weird. <laughs> uh, spoilers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's part two. We will of do our, spoilers. <laughs> uh, we will do our best to avoid spoilers today, but it is inevitable. It's gonna happen. We'll try to. We'll try to flag it. If, if you haven't finished it. Bioshock by now, it's your own fault. Yeah. So yeah. Speaking yeah. of speaking of spoilers. Uh, I think uh, the other big standout best brosif would be Ellie from The Last of Us. Agreed. Definitely. 
So. I like Ellen Page. Uh, Ellen Page. Great, yeah. Makes a great, great companion. Yeah, should, we give it, should we give it to Ellie or should we give it to Ellen Page? We should give it to Ellie uh, Page. <laughs> I wouldn't give it to, to Ellen Page because she wasn't. That's she wasn't too happy to to have her <laughs> likeness split between two different games. But that sounds like our style then. Um, I wouldn't even argue Ellie because of all the fan art that I saw. With <laughs> what direction are you Ellie taking? Into their own lives. I, so, say, I don't know. I, mean, I think if if there is a coin flip needed, let's let's look up fan art and see who, who did more of what. And that's uh yeah. The, it, when fan art hits a certain creepy level, it's no longer like it needs a different name because that's not those those, those fans are the creepiest. <laughs> yeah, it was slash fic fan art. I mean, if you really want to get into it, like that's <laughs> that's definitely what it is. Um. Some people just have a story to tell, and <laughs> through graphic and, visual. And, <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. Any other nominations? Scoop. Uh, Ellie was my first. I'm trying to remember who else I nominated. I hope you nominated Keith David. There we go. <laughs> yes, Keith David. <laughs> Keith David. For Keith Saints David was a good one, even though he will not have sex with you. But I he mean, won't. That makes you gotta sense. work I almost, him. I, yeah, I almost that elevates him above him. the yeah, rest. Yeah, of the crew I respect members. him more for that. He's the only non whore <laughs> on the ship. <laughs> You gotta save um, the world and uh, then take him to dinner. Yeah, but you he can. Wants be, he wants to right, be romance. At some point, you can romance him. You can try. In my dreams. Oh, okay. But he. Uh, I'm gonna do some. Fa- real. I'm gonna do some fanfic real quick. <laughs> yeah, draw right this back. picture to get him on the level with the other two. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know about Keith David. He was kind of. He was kind of a. How, not, how do you not trust Keith David? Did you don't play the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was say he, he's kind of a dick. He's kind of a dick later <laughs> on. Um, yeah, maybe I, yeah. Sometimes I just. Just talking about him, I elevate him as the person and forget, like, we're talking in context of the game. Yeah. I'm sure Keith David himself is fine, but I don't know. Video okay. game Keith I don't know. Have you seen that. Requiem for a Dream? I... <laughs> Have you seen The Cape? <laughs> no. No, no the television has. series? <laughs> Who no. has? He was, he was great in The Cape. He it carried that show. Oh, I forgot about the cape. <laughs> <laughs> all, all four episodes well, all of four the cape. <laughs> it didn't even make it. Mini season. Through, through through the, didn't the, even make yeah. it through the season. Through They're the just like, oh, let's just stop playing this. I like that show. <laughs> we recorded six more episodes, but we'll just stop. <laughs> I'm also going to go with uh, the big brother from Brothers, Tale of Two Sons. I'll back that up. He's the deadbeat liter- dad. Literally a brother. <laughs> the deadbeat dad. <laughs> I don't know about the yeah I don't know about the rest of the family there but uh, the dead mom at the beginning oh spoilers sorry <laughs> the living mom who might die later in the story <laughs> like a minute later the mom with the mystery fate <laughs> <laughs> the sad sorrowful mystery fate uh, other other nominations I got vote the Hulk from Lego Marvel superheroes <coughs> uh, Edge from Remember Me. Edge. I forgot Jordan is going to be pushing oh Remember God. Me agenda. The, the only entire. game I, the only new game I played in in 2013. So He's whenever he many. says, whenever he says, re- <laughs> Remember Me, make sure you mute him. And I paid full price for that game too, so yeah, it had better, it had better end up on 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 a list somewhere, I somewhere paid, on the I paid eight dollars for it. I was so excited was it worth for that, that game. Uh, have you installed it? <laughs> well, it's it's worth eight dollars if you don't count. The fact that you could buy Skyrim for eight dollars the other day too. <laughs> so c- comparatively, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of games you can get for less than ten bucks that are worth way more than ten bucks. That is not one of 2009 them. Two thousand nine game of the year. Remember me? Sure. Remember? <laughs> it would have been a great game, you know. Yeah. What five years Before ago? Before open world games. Yeah. yeah. Um, did Before anybody me. else play Call of Duty Ghosts? Because Riley the dog from Call of Duty Ghosts. Wait, who played it? I know. I know some of our. I can text my brother real quick. He was. <laughs> he enjoyed it. Did you Did you stay away from this Call of Duty, Ethan? You usually try to jump uh, in the campaign. I usually campaigns. wait until it, like the price comes down, which okay. that usually takes about four years. So um, I didn't jump into this one. No, I, I. Even with the dog, I mean, I, I don't need a. I don't know. I don't need that kind of sadness. Having a human get NPC get. I mean, I don't know what happened. So, but I'm just assuming that like they always dog kill the dogs though. Media, it died. I, I, can't, I can't imagine it survived. There's do no way. Do you play as the dog at any situation. point during the game? I hope so. Like, do you, I've do, heard you do. Do you go down and then the dogs got to go and get help? I would play an entire <laughs> Call of Duty game what as a dog. What is it, buddy? What is it, Riley? Maybe that's the sequel to this one. It's just all dogs. Be, be All, dogs call and do, call All dogs call is, a duty. Is he edition. stuck in the well? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, boy? Press X to sniff butt. Um, <laughs> I think Aaron, you'll have my back on this cabin. Cap, I was gonna say cabin next. Cabin from Animal Crossing: New Leaf. Take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> His shanties are—they're awesome. They're they the are great. second best shanties of the year. 
I would I would vouch for that. We can talk about that later. But. I don't still <laughs> I still don't know what a shanty is or but it's like an old shack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a yeah. shanty town, man. Shanty town, Tomb, Tomb Raider. So yeah, it's something like that. I think a shanty is just a song. <laughs> like if there's like a derelict water ship somewhere and people are using it to build no. housing. No think. more thinks uh, Call of Duty's adding pussies to the game next year. <laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> Pussy Edition. <laughs> so the cats, so they all just lick Pulling each that other. Low fruit, huh? Yeah, low hanging fruit. <laughs> uh, any 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 other additions? Uh, I've covered everything that's gotten votes from our crew. But Does chat have anything? What any, about the camera? And did you guys play any video games? <laughs> Is that a good bros? <laughs> <laughs> no, it let me down. Grandma, let me down. grandma, and grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's. I don't think she's. I don't bro. think she's a bro at she's all. Grandma she's Reno. there with you, man, the whole time. She's she there. She's making click. Yeah, she's yeah, clicking she's, too. She's making those cookies. Out, no one voted for Tingle. <laughs> T- yeah. So when, yeah, Wind Waker HD. That's is he a sidekick in it? Yeah. Yeah. What? You, you, I want to kick him in the side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Took uh, Justin forever to find him at the g- beginning of the game. Other games <laughs> that were true. nominated but <laughs> didn't receive votes was uh, Randy the Thief from Dragon's Crown, uh, Drippy. Josh isn't here. Drippy from Nino Cooney. That voice, Drippy's voice. Uh, That's drippy. all I want to say about Drippy is his voice. He's got a lantern hanging from his nose. Oh too. man, Drippy! Drippy made that game for sure. <laughs> uh, uh, Jonah from Tomb Raider. Now, who is that? <laughs> That's the big Samoan is he the big, guy. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah, the he, Samoan? He's a bro. I don't know if he's the best bro, but he, we shouldn't recognize his bro-ness. All right. No. His name can go temporarily on the board. So Yeah, we'll just erase it immediately after you type it. <laughs> <laughs> immediately access. Uh T.T. Spider Brown from Blood Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, if Ethan's not excited well, about it, then here's the thing: he was a great Brosif, but I mean, you know, you got you got to really separate the Brosif that's used as actually Brosif throughout the game, the Brosif that's used as as emotional material to get you pumped for the yeah. rest. Of the, I mean, that's a different category altogether. Right. Maybe one we'll add next next year. Maybe. All right, uh, so these are our nominees. Let's break this down into uh, some finalists here. Um, so erase Jonah. Uh, yeah, sorry, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> So how many do we need? What two? We need three total, and then we get to pick a winner out of those three. I think uh, I think we can kill Riley. Did any Harsh. Put him down. I, I mean, I, I like dogs. Oh, yeah, Did any of us play enough though? To, no. let's, let's put Riley to sleep. I, I feel let's, like let's take him out behind <laughs> out behind the shed, behind the shanty. <laughs> let's just I feel like him out. the dogs had their moment in the sun at E three. So yeah. All right. Um, probably the Hulk. Yeah, I like giving him a Hulk nod. Sad. <laughs> I almost feel like to make it easy, you could probably just uh, delete everything up to Big Brother, and we decide from there. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like any of these uh, other ones are going to. The be only thing, close. the only thing working against Kaepernick is he has been in other games, and now, none yeah. of you guys played Nino Cooney, right? I played a, I played a, uh, I played a chunk, of dozen it. hours of it, but because Drippy's pretty awesome. Drippy, Drippy was. I thought someone. But yeah, like it. he was better as far than, as Elizabeth Ellie, and then like, yeah. What I know about brothers, like we got some heavy hitters. Yeah, that's a good final four. I, I'd give up Keith David on this one based on what we said about the game itself. Yep, I would too. And I, I don't think he was going to beat brother, any but of those. A big three. brother is always a good. Didn't play Saints Row, but like I said, Apparently. amazing in the cape. <laughs> 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 like he was like a fatherly oh, figure. You know, he was there. He was helping. He's the still going to be funny five hours from now. <laughs> 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 we'll see. All right, so here are our finalists, Elizabeth, Ellie, and the big brother from Brothers of Tale of Two Sons. So we have to pick a winner. And I have to figure out how to highlight the winner. Am I already <laughs> using bold? <laughs> just, just select it and then... You just select it. And we'll I'm already using bold. So. Uh, okay, so we doing spoilers? Because um, big brother is like the... One of the, one of the key things about that game is the gameplay. One of the gameplay elements... Yeah, that comes up later in the game. Like, okay, so he maybe I would be okay to knock him down because it's brother in the more familiar familial sense mm-hmm. than like your bro. Like he he, te- he literally he teaches little he brother bro. what he needs to know. Yeah, and um, more so than Elizabeth. Like, yeah, and like, El- Elizabeth and Ellie got your back. Yeah, because like true. even El- even Ellie like. Like you know, she's being she's being defended by Joel, but at some point, like she like at some point she could survive on her own. I mean, there's a very clear yeah. She gets on Joel's yeah. level at a point. Get on, get on that level. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then she's kind of taking care of Joel. Okay, so the for but a little the bit. but man, yeah, Elizabeth's there with you the whole time helping you. So I would even say mm-hmm. the edge the edge to me goes to Elizabeth because she is an and she's a non playable character the entire time. Mm-hmm. 
That's true. Mm-hmm. And she, I can see that. Yeah, she she helps you more actually too. I mean, yeah, she's constantly. True. Ellie, she's, Ellie. she's helping you find things. Like Ellie is cool as a character. She evolves, sense. evolves. Yeah, like I yeah. liked her character. I thought she was funny. Um, but you know, she doesn't really do that much during the game. Whereas Elizabeth is always throwing stuff at you, showing you things you missed. Well, and and, and to me, a good bro is someone that compliments your your weaknesses, which is exactly what Elizabeth does. You know, in that game, I mean, it's like when you, you die, she brings you back to life. Open and that kind of stuff, and it's kind of cool to have that. I have no experience with Ellie, so yeah, if right. there's a, a really good reason for her, uh, I'd definitely be there. But I guess what it comes down to is, who would you want, you know, to have your back in real life? Oh, see, that's oh, that's the say, problem, yeah. though. Like when you put it that way. I mean, okay, so so. Well, Ellie's, Elizabeth, Ellie's pretty Elizabeth's tough. A Ellie real life, not, not reality, because if that's <laughs> well, the case, and Elizabeth would be awful to have with you. Yeah, that's what uh, I mean. Like, she's not going to say. I mean, she does save your life, but it's through like all the tears and that kind of stuff. She's not. But Ellie will pick up a brick and bash a dude's skull in for you. Yeah, twice. Yeah. Jump on a guy's back and stab him in the neck. Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth do that. Didn't need you, nor did she trust you in the beginning. But she developed a broness with you during the game. Yeah. And I, that that says a lot. I always like those the stories where like there's not a, a like it's not very apparent that you're going to be friends with somebody in the beginning, and then you just build that up, and it's <laughs> like I love you. Okay, literally the big brother from Brothers is is <laughs> yeah is is a bro. Literally, yes. Ellie and Elizabeth are not, and thus we will remove him <laughs> from <Okay>. the list. <laughs> I guess I'm still just from the. Tra- I, I, I'm leaning towards Elizabeth. Elizabeth's got my vote. Yeah, she's got mine. I like think from the gameplay perspective and how she compliments the weaknesses that point Ethan brought up, I think I would, I'll give my vote to Elizabeth. I really like Ellie. I like her knife. I like her spunk. Yeah. I like her Ellen Pageness. <laughs> but <laughs> Elizabeth. I love both of them because I didn't have to worry about either one of them. Like that was the yeah. big. Yeah. Both yeah. of those games, yeah. I was worried that um, they you, were going to get gonna, You're going to lose a round because they got yeah. shot. or the, Yeah, because you weren't paying attention to them and they died. I think... Uh, you can you can still make the argument. No, I think I'll have to Are go you going with Elizabeth. For Ellie? I actually voted for Ellie. That, that was my pick. But yeah. hearing people talk about Elizabeth, it, she's, a bro, she's a better bro. Us. I mean, Ellie's not even going to be able to save you if you're drowning. Because last year, no, was, she can't it swim. Was, she it was, can't swim. It was Garrus. Spoiler! The, the, the one that... <laughs> <laughs> so I keep trying to think, like, man, they're not. Neither of them are really up there. No, that, that wasn't a spoiler, Ethan. You, <laughs> you have to. You have to, <laughs> you have to pull her around on planks through the whole game. The, the audience, the audience is intolerant. already cr- claiming that the Grimmies are fixed. Yeah, the first <laughs> category. <laughs> <laughs> so Elizabeth is our best bros of I'll allow 2013. It. <laughs> Thanks. Thank God. Thank God I'll we have it. All right, next category up. Use a gavel to slam down on the table. <laughs> yeah, is best. Guns, if I use the correct. Oh well, they're right here. G U N Z, best guns. <laughs> yeah, we've got a. G-U-N-Z. Things will get interesting because we've got a few overlapping uh, awards. I feel um, like as far as like a a gameplay feature, and um, but we'll uh, so we're gonna start with the with the best guns. I'm just gonna actually go through the ones that received votes and then see if you guys have any any to add here. Do you want to describe the category? First? Um, thank you. Um, <laughs> Let's see what our official disease, definition so it has is. Something to do with zombies, right? Favorite new weapon or tool in a 2013 game. Or tool. Or tool. Jordan is eligible. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I know where my vote's going. <laughs> all right. So that was a pretty big tool. This one this surprised year. me, and I'll, I'll stick with this game, but and I'll I'll start with it. But the crows from Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> Yeah. I, I didn't really use the crows. I didn't use them either. I used them a lot. I used actually. them in the beginning. I used, yeah, I used them. A lot. I did all melee. They were pretty. Yeah. They were pretty. I was gonna like, say I used the ones that pulled you in because I had all the power ups that would turn. Like when you attack the guys, that would turn them. Yeah. Because so, my Bioshock Infinite vote would go to the Skyhook. Mine would too. So we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll keep yeah. it in consideration. Yeah. It got some votes because so. it was a tool and a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's true. But not a gun. <laughs> But technically not a gun. All right. I mean, the um, way you grind it into somebody's face. <laughs> so unnecessarily. <laughs> so sad. That's, how, that's how I dance. So satisfying. Um, we got the brick. <laughs> the brick from Last it of Us. From it, the felt, it felt so right. Felt, now, is it the, the brick? It felt like it should have. The brick specifically, or is the bottle also 
lumped in with the brick. I would say the brick specifically. The brick, okay. yeah. The bottle. Yeah. Bottle's kind of lame. Yeah. I, mean, I like. I like the if I were to throw a, if I were to throw a, a bottle at you and then a brick at you, a brick would be funnier. <laughs> funnier. Funnier. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Then we I'll can... let you know after you throw the brick. At you. <laughs> How funny it was. Yeah. Um, so were there any other uh, vigors we wanted to nominate from Bioshock? Before I moved on, can um, we just can we just say Bioshock? And just group it all together, because I no, can't that, I can't that, really think. No, that gets crazy. The vigors, no, I can't no. think of them. I don't like what you're talking about. The love <laughs> vigor. I liked the uh, what's the one that made the horse noise and the people levitated off the ground. That, that was cool. The I like that one. Yeah, like vigor? the kind of rodeo one. <laughs> the rodeo. <laughs> I forget the name of all of them. Like so. the reverse cowboy. That was the one I used. <laughs> vigor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bucking Bronco, that's what it was yeah, called. But yeah, I had right. to get dirty before I could remember what it was called. <laughs> had to just cl- first, cleanse your mind, get it all out there. First yeah. cowboy. I like that one more than the crows because it had, yeah. uh, I like the horse. So we need to go back over this video later and see all of my misspellings and the things that I like go back for consistency. Just misspell sake. everything on purpose. I, and... I should. <laughs> It'll like, save me some time. Um, the other big. The other big item from The Last of Us, the scissor mods. Anything using... Oh, uh, yes. Anything using the scissors. So scissors that, duct taped to a baseball bat. Because I, I used yeah, that, yeah, I used that, nail, that nail bomb, that scissor bomb a lot. That was. I did use the nail bomb a lot. Oh, the nail bomb was pretty good, spicy. too. Oh, <laughs> Very spicy. But yeah, like, I so to, you hit somebody with a nail modded weapon, and then it's just, like, stuck in him, and he's, like, struggling to get it out. It's... It felt, it felt right. It felt right. Coop liked the We're way about to felt. air some real sicknesses on this podcast. <laughs> All right. I like the way those scissors felt when they went through the skin. Let's see. Um, I want to talk about Raiden's sword here. All right. All right. Metal, let's get some Metal Gear <laughs> Revengeance. I haven't played that yet. Taking down all the water. It's on PC islands. now. There's no excuse. No, no, I haven't installed it. I just haven't played it yet. Uh, see, the funny thing is I would take... Lo Wang's sword from <laughs> Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior. Stupid and what game. would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I vote for that just because it's called Lo Wang. <laughs> Lo Wang. Now that it's almost the same thing because it, it's all about the slicing. It's all about slicing appendages off of. But in Revenge, you're slicing robots and, and watermelons. And, and, and watermelons. And Shadow Forget about the watermelons. Shadow Warrior. Those are people. Those are people. They have those mothers are limbs. and sometimes and children. Humping and humping bunnies. And, and humping bunnies. Bu- oh, you chopped those bunnies, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And demons. And, and demons. demons. <laughs> but mainly the bunnies. How do you chop a demon? What? What's complicated? Chopping those a I joke. <laughs> I, I would think you couldn't chop a demon. <laughs> to get to the other side. You, there's plenty of demons to chop. Mm, okay. Ooh, one of my favorites, the pickaxe. Oh, the pickaxe, Tomb oh, Raider. Tomb Raider. That's a that's a gruesome mm. weapon. Ethan, did you go back and play any of that? No, not okay. yet. All right, just no. I will. I'll, I'll know I'll, where you're coming from there. I'll, I'll go. Um, I like pickaxes, so you know. Let's break into Saints Row Four. <laughs> Dubstep gun. Dubstep. Whoop 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 whoop. I use the America weapon more. America. America. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't remember what it's there called. There are no drops with the America is it weapon. Screaming, is that the no. Screaming Eagle? Is that no drops. Just, that was just patriotism. Or the Captain. Uh, What's it called? America Gun. The Captain. We'll have to look that up officially. Yeah. Is someone calling the office there, Jordan? A doop doop. Call in with your own votes. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, and now to the phone. <laughs> A game that I forgot uh, actually came out in um, 2013. <coughs> the Boots from Dead Space 3. Stomp, stomp. Mm. Oh, run out of space. I'm surprised Nilmar wasn't talking about that mm-hmm. one in this category yet. It's just stomping. Yeah. yeah. I, although you can go down a rabbit hole and talk about the whole crafting system. You literally make no, your own you don't guns. No, you don't need to, no. But stomping. It's not, no, it's not worth it. Um, okay. Um, the pants from Gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to talk about the pants from Gunpoint just because the, that's what makes you jump and leap and mm-hmm. that's what gets you on top of guards to just beat their faces in with your fists. Mm-hmm. Those pants. Yeah. Uh, I, I, would, I, I was just thinking about Gunpoint when I saw the pants of Gunpoint, but I mean, we should definitely add the, um, the wire tool in Gunpoint. That the wire jacking is uh, pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, that yeah is. it's actually really cool. That's one of the... Yeah. Vital. But, but that was also a gameplay mechanic too that we voted on, so I don't know which uh, yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, we'll... Yeah, we'll sort that out later. But I like shocking the guards. It's a tool. I like so the, that elect- too. the electrical outlet could be a weapon. 
Mm-hmm. The door. You can hit people with the door and knock them unconscious. You can hit people with the door? <laughs> the door. Yeah, you can hit people with the door. <laughs> oh, I never that did that. You can kill yourself <laughs> with the door. <laughs> it's one nice. of my favorites. Um, let's see. The swapper gun. It's vital to the entire game. Yeah. I think it should be up there. From from the swapper. From the swapper. Oh, cool. At least we're going underneath the... <laughs> yeah. All right. Good to know. A two-column approach is not working This category is getting out of control. It is. Uh, cloning, yeah. The cloning yeah. cherry. <laughs> Hold on. I just, I just want to give some love to some of these games. So, The cloning cherry from... Super Mario, Super Mario 3D, 3D World. World. <laughs> the first time you use it... All right, I'm going to read through the it. rest of our nominations, and you let me know if we should add any of these. Uh, Ellie's Knife from The Last of Us. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I love it. The way it feels. I love the way it feels. <laughs> I love the way it feels. <laughs> <laughs> every one of these fucking things? Jeez. Knife, gun. <laughs> but I won't, vote, I won't vote for it as Boot. the finalist. Pickaxe. The, uh, the mole from Monaco. I thought that was funny just to be on the <laughs> list. Um, I just put down Risk of Rain because it's its entire weapon system in general. Yeah, that, that's a whole product. Yeah. And uh, potions? For, oh, potions from Legend of Dungeon. I thought it was a potions from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Only when they make you throw up. Yeah. Um, I don't think any of those. So let's so see here. So it's just beer. Just beer. Any, yeah. any we want to just mark off. Cloning cherry. I mean, I like it, and it it's a fun thing, but I don't. Wow, right on the right on the gate. That's the first one you you take a swing. I, at? I nominated it too, but really? we've, we've said some stuff. All right, whatever. Um, I mean, I don't think it's gonna win. So, but damn, I was hoping you was hoping for more of a fight on that one. Yeah. Oh come on. I didn't play it, so I can't have an opinion. You don't have an opinion. But it looked pretty badass. Though. But that was like my, my that was my defining moment in. Uh, well, that's, that's what made that you, game If you good. want to leave it there, I mean, that was just my All right, opinion. Yeah, let's see what else we cut. Um, I would say the wire cutting tool because I'd, I'd go with the pants and gunpoint over that. I agree. Boots. I do that. can only have one. Because he's always had boots. He's always had boots since the first. Um, Maybe even before that. You can, would we you can t- kill the America gun. Yeah. It's it's just so okay. I think we take, I did the, take confirm the dubstep gun over it's, that. It's the America gun. Mer- like, Mer- comma, Mer- comma, capital M. America. America gun. Okay, I love the pickaxe. On our battle pickaxe. of swords, I'm liking the pickaxe for Dan. <sighs> See, okay, riding swords, kind of like. Did anybody play both? I played, I played both. both. Yeah, oh, okay. I finished Revengeance. And you're going Shadow with Revengeance. It, well, well, the thing about Revengeance is that you go into like a slow motion and you target yeah, points and yeah, you, yeah, you just yeah. get really stylish with it. Where Lo Wang's sword, he's just flailing that shit and <laughs> limbs are going so, everywhere. But Lo Wang's always got something to say while he's doing it. So riding sword guy. That's not part of the guns. Though. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it is. <laughs> I feel like when he attacks, what Every he is saying is part of the attack. <laughs> when along, the sword hits the along bone with the weapon, <laughs> the vocals yeah. and, become and just, part of. The, <laughs> yeah. Well, keep it in mind. Just everyone knows. You know, just because we're not voting on one doesn't mean it wasn't good. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that's we can true. all, you know, no, if, you know, it, if it gets removed from the child, list, no, you know? it's, it's terrible. It's, it's garbage. It's yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. If we mention it and then like remove 0. it, oh, one percent point between Raiden's sword and Low Wang's sword. So we'll just <laughs> establish that, and everybody feels good about it. Um, and, Scissor mods and our battle to brick. Yes, thank you. Any yeah, brick stays. Yeah, brick stays. Skyhook wins for Bioshock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've got our duplicates. Um, got some spacing issues. Just call it MGR. Yeah, fine. Keanu Reeves. MGR. Reeves? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Metal Gear Reeves. So what do I like out of this? I the dubstep gun was funny, but it it's was not funny. very effective. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not very effective at all. It's not as useful as other guns. But the moment uh-huh. when Justin and I first yeah, had our dual dubsteps, dubstep guns, yeah. Was, yeah, it looked cool. And I like, wish it would have been better if it had more riffs. I got yeah, tired. Yeah. I got tired of listening to it. I think you upgraded. It. it changed the song a little bit. Did yeah, it, it changes the song when but you up. Still, I didn't yeah, use it, it didn't. That up. It's effectiveness. So if it, it, was, yeah, it, it takes a, a really long time step, to kill things I with it. I liked it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was anything, the heavy, me- the heavy it metal gun. Anything other? If it was emo, it was the bluegrass gun. It was the emo gun. The emo gun. I loved it. I didn't use the pickaxe in Tomb Raider all that much. Why not? You can bury it into dude's skulls. I know. <laughs> yeah, I immediately. I up- mean, I couldn't over. update it. Mountains. I couldn't not use the bow. The insta kill stuff. <laughs> the bow was pretty. I, I use the bow anytime a game has a bow. That's I pretty I much get last stuck on year that. was the bow. We had a lot of games that had bow this year. Though, yeah. Too. 
Okay. Last of Us had a boat. Uh, I'm leaning towards um, Skyhook, Brick, and the Pants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about with the pants. <laughs> I have Gunpoint, but I haven't, I haven't started playing the, the, yet. The, the, started. It, all of his abilities are because of his pants. The fact yeah. that, yeah. The the fact reason that he can he, jump, he yeah. can land quietly. So when you shoot, it's, of the it's just coming out, <laughs> it's it's coming out of his pants. He shoots like out of his pants. Sword. Yeah. You don't get the Is gun. there an animation? Gun for a while. Is there an animation? Yeah, I don't have a gun. His pants, like, no. kind of the wind of firing the gun. Just kind of breezes <laughs> off the pants. All right, I might have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a video of this. <laughs> so, are we good to drop ride and sword? Because in the end, it's kind of a sword. Yeah, yeah we can drop sword. the sword. It's a sword. So, yeah, to me, the pickaxe is close. So I, uh, okay, I'm evidently drop. I'm not fighting for the cloning cherry. So I said, drop, we talked drop about the, the cherry. Gun. I will drop the swapper gun because we will bring up the swapper again later, I believe. Yeah, yeah. and I don't think it's better than pants. All right, so <laughs> no, a gun is not better than pants and best guns. No. <laughs> so e- you were you weren't too impressed with the pickaxe. How'd you f- how'd you guys feel about the pickaxe? It's, you were both are Team Raider dudes. I love the pickaxe. I mean, it's, it seems like I mean it's a tool and a weapon in this case. And the fact Do we that go pickaxe over brick because I feel like that's the. I think the pickaxe had more utility than the brick, and I even talked about the bottle to which I was shut down and <laughs> humiliated. <laughs> so yeah, I would smack him underneath the table. I will get rid of the brick and make yeah. it skyhook pickaxe pants, mm-hmm. which is a really sounds, weird game. Right. <laughs> that sounds that's a good for the guns category. <laughs> <laughs> None of these things fire projectiles at all. Oh, all right. Well, the skyhook after you you know grind it into a guy's neck, you kind of throw him with it. So, you, so the, the body becomes the, the body projectile. becomes the projectile. You could All hit right, somebody yeah. else. Well, by yeah. that definition, the skyhook wins. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm with skyhook winning this category. Over yeah. pants. I'll pants take, are great, man. I'll the take skyhook over pickaxe. Useful, but... I want gun pants, but I could use a skyhook. <laughs> <laughs> you would have more fun with a skyhook. Yeah, because if Indianapolis you were, has society, got a lot of, a lot of cables. Of if you were in <laughs> Columbia and yeah, all you had were the pants, you'd be in a lot more trouble. I don't think you could make some of the You'd jumps. You'd have to work your accuracy up. Yeah, you would. Mm-hmm. He could climb on walls, too. He was scaling buildings in Gunpoint. That's true. He could climb walls. And that was maybe because of the pants. <laughs> What's your vote, Aaron? I'm going to give it to Skyhook. Okay. Jordan? Yeah, Skyhook. I think you're outnumbered here. And based on I'm based on preliminary What's votes. Coop, what was Coop's? Coop's, I'm, Coop's I'm, holding out for the pants. I'm staying strong with pants. But hey, pants runner around up. Your, your vote will be noted in history. <laughs> First runner up. Note it in history. Skyhook. So is that how we're deciding pants. we're just taking votes? Well, actually, I think we're just going to give every award to Bioshock Infinite. That's what we're doing so far. Yeah. <laughs> so Even when it's not nominated. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, when it doesn't when it doesn't count. We'll be out of here soon. <laughs> so your finalists for best guns are the pants from Gunpoint, Pickaxe from Tomb Raider, and your winner, Skyhook from Bioshock Infinite. Congratulations to all involved. You, you, all, did, you all did a great or, job or, this year. Yeah, and you all, all of you. Great. Except for Low Wang Sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You st- yeah. <laughs> You're <stupid>. terrible. <laughs> we clearly hate that, yeah. All right. Our next category, best hype package. I don't even think we need question? to write any other down. Like, I don't think, I don't, I think there's. Oh, you think there's a clear match. winner here? This is there's, for the there's best. There's a clear winner there. And if, if anyone argues this, is, uh, Ah, I'll, I'll, I'll send a hateful email to you. It won't be that hateful. It'll be more it's For the best trailers or marketing for a game this year. And so the game does not have to come out this year. The marketing itself is from 2013. Um, so let's see here. Our, okay, Ethan, what, are, what do you think's running away with this? It's Blood Dragon, man. <laughs> that was, because here's the thing, and let me just argue this real quick, because there was a lot of great marketing this year, okay? A lot of high-tech <laughs> In your face marketing, but Blood Dragon literally did not give a fuck. It was a low quality, like quote unquote VHS feel. But if anybody remembers at that time, I, I have not been more excited for the release of a game based entirely on just like getting pumped up. The music, awesome. The, the whole like cartoon. I mean that cartoon was awesome. Oh it, yeah, it, it, it reminded me of the Awesome Knots yeah. beginning. Oh yeah, and our our eighties like the, just TV like wasn't there oh. the uh, the live action thing too? Uh, no, the live action was actually fan made. Okay, the actual uh, trailer they showed in the very beginning was the kind of slow it was like old eighties cartoon. 
look, yeah, I mean, and they punched at the end. Yeah. I mean, God, that was, oh. One of awesome. the very beginning so you know when it started, voice. it was kind of like they had recorded a cartoon over commercials because you had the people yeah. eating sausage and stuff like that. <laughs> the other ones were Sold. great, but they didn't step outside the box. They showed great tech, but I mean, yeah. you know. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to counter the first thing that stood out to me was The Last of Us and mainly that, um, that initial, I think it was an E3 demo where... Actually, no, was that even this year? That would have been last year. So was it last year's? Yeah. Are you talking about the one with yep, the shotgun in the face? We talked we talk about that okay. last year. Um, so, okay, an interesting pick, Aliens Colonial Marines. That's a deceptive <laughs> pick. Exactly. <laughs> the most deceptive hype package, yeah. The game doesn't have to be good. This, I mean, is, this is just yeah. the hype package. Which, which marketing <laughs> worked? <laughs> yeah. I mean, people bought it. People were excited about it, right? <sighs> Some people. I, I, I still wonder. Not people be, were we anticipating to it. I, to be realistic, hopeful. Like, I yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see anything from any of the trailers. Anything that like got me super excited. It was just oh, I'm excited for another Aliens game. I hope this one is good. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you were hopeful. Most of the, most of the big fanboys of it. I mean, when they're tentative about it, you're like, okay, this isn't. I mean, people were just. Mm. And that trailer itself, the, the one that tricked everybody, came out. Two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, I heard about that. Like, th- there was game gameplay footage from that when they matched it, up with the most recent it didn't game. Didn't actually exist. <laughs> yeah, well, no, they, they said that they matched up with the most recent game, and it just looked like the 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 game that just came out looked terrible compared to it oh, or yeah. some, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Like, hey, Phil, all those textures you did look really good. Get them out of here. <laughs> some shit in the garbage. Save some money. No, I think I would counter Blood Dragon because. I mean, aliens. I don't think any of us like that. Metal Gear Solid Five's Phantom Pain, oh, yeah, distraction, yeah. and mm, then the reveal. All that. That's like a huge. Like I don't the, say a huge package. The, but the, the, the only inter- knock the, the, against that is I still don't understand what the fuck happened, and I don't know I which don't games either. are coming out. <laughs> I think I get. I think I get it. I think uh, there's Ground Zeroes, which okay. comes out first, and that's shorter. That's a shorter game, and mm. then that's like a prequel to Metal Gear Solid Five. So Phantom Pain is not <laughs> a real. <laughs> now are we talking about understanding what's coming or just hype getting excited about i mean okay get excited oh, yeah. about something i think that demo I, the demo where i thought i was watching red dead redemption metal gear solid that was awesome so yeah that aside from the confusion that got me i was like oh shit there's a lot I, to it there's something i to haven't life. played a metal gear game since two and this yeah i'm this looks like red dead so i want to play it <laughs> Yeah. That might not have been the message they were going for, but that's what know. worked for me. So I think there's there was something in there that a person could like mm-hmm. if you like Metal Gear or even if you like Red Dead, like you said, there's something in there to like. Um let's see. I'm gonna I'm throwing out the Just Cause 2 multiplayer trailer. Cause no, I, I got I, super excited for it. That was that was pretty awesome. <laughs> I can back that up. I did not watch it. I should have. And this won't win, but that Shadow Warrior trailer when they talked about the fish physics and the bunny fucking that made me like that made <laughs> me that made me up. pay attention to the game so because I was gonna write it off uh, otherwise no, there was there was another one where uh, Stan Bush's uh, you got the touch uh, was also used that one wasn't too bad either <laughs> Stan Bush is Ethan's best friend now uh, <laughs> yeah I like Stan Bush <laughs> uh, is he in chat tonight is uh, Stan Bush do we in invite chat. him we should have. I think that was Ethan's job. Shoot him a Twitter message. He'll respond. I'll give. I'll send him a text real quick. <laughs> Call his personal. Any landline. any others top of mind before I go through the rest of our list here? I no. I don't think this will win, but GTA V's gameplay hype package. I was the one I believe who nominated. We didn't it. get through uh, three categories. Uh, <laughs> I had I had a let me mute his mic. I knew I wouldn't. No have. no no. GTA, GTA, I knew, oh, GTA hold on hold on. I had a hope. And this was before the nominations came in because we had two people that were going to bring the game up. But I kind of hoped that we wouldn't even talk about the game ever. You generally look wow. sad right now. Like <laughs> yeah, you kinda, you do. <laughs> you it's not because it's bad. I just Jeez. think it's. You look of, like I've just slapped your yeah, dog. Yeah, your yeah, dog. I knew it was gonna the happen. energy has really <laughs> changed in this room so, suddenly. So, so Grand, dog. Grand Theft Auto is probably one of the only games that like I actively like. Oh, they're gonna be bicycles in it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, you we can, can be able golf? to play basketball. Yeah, you can play golf in it. Oh, you can golf. But I mean, I like the, it's like a tour and like the, the lady's voice and they're showing you all the cool things and the side attractions you could do. I just like the presentation of it. I don't think it was the best of what we have oh, yeah. here, but I like the it presentation. Let me they know put. the game was coming out. So yeah, <laughs> there's gonna be two other playable characters. I don't oh. understand. That was, my, that was my other. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. 
Um, multiplayer? <laughs> multiplayer? I was still surprised Mul- even after seeing this trailer. Yeah, that um, multiplayer uh, video was pretty awesome. Like it didn't it didn't yeah. explain anything about how it was, but you know you it made it look like it was going to work. And then you know you see it that did, it did look like <laughs> it worked. You see that jet go flying by? Yeah. Yeah, I would actually side on the the Big Grand Theft Auto Online trailer over the Grand Theft Auto Five as far as. I can't believe you typed that on the screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're um, welcome. We'll fix it in post. Okay, uh, did who's excited for No Man's Sky? Because that like got a ton of hype when it when that trailer came out during the not VGAs. I'm curious about that one. But yeah. like, I'm curious too. But everybody Maybe like exploded yeah. around it. And like, I was like the promise, was cool. the promise around that game. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Um, and it looks good too. Which the two big E3 surprising. games that. Uh, I need more trailers of are the division. Yeah, that's true. That was effective. Oh, yeah. I liked the pull away at the end there. <laughs> the, the, the Ubisoft <laughs> move. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the Witcher three. Witcher three is yeah. It's gonna be the shit. They look good. I, I'm I'm curious to see both of those like the marketing that comes out after those two things. Like we've seen the trailers, we've seen that build up, and I want to see like how they get people really like invested in it. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why those two didn't come off. You know. Uh, the top of my head in terms of voting for these. Uh, and I think the other... <laughs> Verdian said uh, Fez 2 hype. <laughs> Fez 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of Oh, fun. yeah. Uh, I'm going to write that down just to have it on the board. Yeah. We don't have Josh's uh, Phil Fish here. <laughs> my actual prediction was when he freaked out and said he wasn't working on anything anymore, that was just so people leave him alone so he could finish Fez 2. I, I, yeah. I, I, I agree. Wouldn't, uh, he's just going to he's he's gonna disappear for a while and then... Next year or in five years when it's done, he's gonna <laughs> yeah, in th- yeah, in, 13, <laughs> in five years he's gonna pop years. up and be like, hey, here's Fez Two. Oh, it's by done. the way, guys, yeah. yeah As um, someone that I, I actually I want other opinions on the Dragon's Crown marketing. Oh yeah, because um, I would almost say worst hype package, but it also I knew, I, f- I paid attention because it kept irritating me. My my hype built just because Vanillaware is making a new yeah, game. Yeah. That's, yeah, all that's, right, here's that's yeah, all I, yeah. here's my money. Yeah. That's all I needed. <laughs> yeah. Coop's all over that one. I was. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. It's uh, like Bi- Dragon's Crown. Bioshock what is that? Infinite is that? had a lot of trailers. Is that an NES game? I don't know. So, yeah. I was yeah, already that first, <laughs> that first I That no first package. trailer of theirs. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. Uh, that was the like only Like the one. cinematic so. one? Yeah, that one was really so, great. Um, any, any additions? This covers our big list, but you remember any other hype? I'm trying to think back to like the... The weekly indie Steam releases, like if there's any trailers that maybe try the game. Um, offhand, I can't think of anything. But I um, try yeah. games that Justin buys impulsively. <laughs> <laughs> the hype train that is my activity feed. Yeah, your activity feed. I'm like Justin bought that. What the hell Justin is this? <laughs> so that's that's exactly how I look that's at. That's how games. you buy the game. Yeah, when anybody in our crew adds a game to their wish list or buys it, I'm like, oh, I should go check that out. Happy Matt had a game the other day. And some weird, like little, like three color Western game. I was like, "This oh, looks dumb." Awesome. I said, eh, "This game looks dumb." And then I was like, "Oh, it's two bucks. All right, <laughs> <laughs> sure." <laughs> and then like everybody else, I think, has bought it too. Yeah. Like, oh, it's two bucks. Whatever. Two bucks. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm gonna get rid of. I mean, I don't think it would two. win, but so, I got excited oh. about The Last of Us. I'll just make a note of that. I, and I, I just, think it was I, only because I just that, don't think what there was a trailer it? from this year, though. Was there not? I can't remember. Any. I mean, it was I a mean, summer they, release, so they played a lot of. They played. A lot, I saw a lot of TV commercials. Yeah. For The yeah. Last of Us, and like a lot of games don't do that anymore. Yeah. I mean, they they kind of promoted it like a movie, and it, I just seeing it on the TV, um, I think just kept getting me excited about it. Oh right. So much that I played it in December. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. Yep. Unless there's. Nope. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna make a push for Fez too. Oh my god! Not even, not even just the trailer, <laughs> but everything else around it. Because I'm with Coop, and I'm, I would rest that. I was pretty hyped for Dragon's Crown. Yeah, oh, man. New Vanillaware game. Yeah, yeah, but but, oh, but were you hyped because of the marketing? <sighs> yeah, or a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like, were you? Hi- I mean, would you have equal hype if I just had emailed you a thing <laughs> that had the release date on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 They didn't need to. Yeah. All they had to do was say we're making a new game. Oh, Starbound. Starbound. Is oh man. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, There's a ton I, of hype. I would hype say people Starbound. were hyped about it, but that okay. would, that would be one that I would you would struggle to actually because right. the, the hype package itself was more word of mouth than them actually. Isn't yeah. part of their which, isn't part of their about two or three years. hype package though like the live Twitch streams that you have to watch during <laughs> and then that's it like you can't you can't record it this is it 
So Stop. some hype around that. Let's see. Blood Dragon Stain. I'm going to keep a... Uh, actually... Really, I'd take I, I, I take aliens no, out. Yeah. I don't I'm think not, it was the yeah. one. I'm not pushing for that because uh, I think we need to really focus on like the good ones, the ones that like these three. hyped you up for a game that was decent. Yeah, cut those. Yeah, just cause yeah, two came out of nowhere. It was great, but um, oh, GT online. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see No Man's Sky. I I just discovered it the other day. I, again, yeah. I don't think the trailer. The trailer doesn't make any sense. You kind of have to read up on it. If I didn't but, see but it, again, there wasn't enough hype. I heard. Uh, let me say, I heard someone that is talking the, that is about No Man's Sky, and that got me hyped up. I was okay. I mean, I, I yeah. feel like you have to watch how Spike TV. The awareness around that game because of that might still. <laughs> I'd cut the division too. Yeah. Are they the ones their offices? Uh, the just division. Flowing? You would cut the division. The division was my next gen moment at E3. Yeah, yeah but definitely. That's, that's those fucking bullets in the glass. Like <laughs> he shut the well, car. He shut the, the door. Yeah, he pushed the door. He pushed closed. it wow. shut. That's <laughs> true. Next that generation, true. guys. The only it's one I here. have. The only I have to when, that, when that guy on his iPad came in in the little hovering oh, thing. Up. What even? <laughs> my my only thing against the next gen titles. Okay, this uh, is the only the only reason why I would argue against any. I'm of getting rid of the last one. One, they. <laughs> People were hyped based on the graphics, but the effort that you had to put into actually hyping that, you didn't really because those games look great, you know. So the hype package itself was not as uh, it wasn't. I don't feel like it was um, as direct as maybe some of these other ones were, you know. Like like they were like, hey, look how awesome this game is, yeah. and everyone was pretty excited about it. I want to see what those look like next year because yeah. I think both the division and um, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five are just gonna like have some crazy awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, marketing and stuff coming up, but I think at that time they were like, "Here's a demo, you know, you're, there's your boner. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to stimulate you at yeah. all." So I mean, that my my only strike against any of the next of, or the, the next gen ones is is that hype can still build from here. They can win next year, essentially. What I'm saying. Yeah, I I think that's where I'm at with the division. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. that. I remember being excited about it at E3, but then I forgot about it because there's been nothing oh, about yeah. it really since then. And yeah. you feel strongly about keeping The oh, Witcher 3. Watch Dogs. Uh, Jason just threw that Oh, thank there. you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Watch, Watch Dogs. Dogs was more of a last year thing. Like, I, I didn't... Again, I don't was, remember when any yeah when any of this. But that, stuff that's started. that's me. That like I, I have that once that first trailer hits me, it's probably the same, then I'm same done watching them. The division, especially is because the Ubisoft same will give you yeah. one every week. Yeah. So, but Watch Dogs still looks amazing. But I think it was the marketing the year before. What are Fraptics for Dean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> never mind. Fra- I don't want to know. Fraptics. 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 Um, <laughs> Bad Fraptics. Maybe Bad Fraptics. <laughs> Can I cut The Witcher 3? <laughs> I will not fight yeah. for The Witcher 3. I will not fight for it. Don't know what you're talking about. All right, they, so they just keep telling people a, it's going to be a, a, a more adult <laughs> game, and that's what's going to get people excited about it. I don't it. know. I've seen the beginning of the better second one. It's already pretty, yeah. it's better sex it's already right. pretty adult. More HBO. My, <laughs> I'm between No Man's Sky and Metal Gear Solid 5. My vote, I think, would be to make Metal Gear Solid 5. To get rid of them? To keep it. My to vote is it. Metal Gear Solid Five. My vote is Blood Dragon and Fez Two. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, let's go. Ahead. No, so no Man's one? Sky. Can, Actually, no. I was, I Blood, Blood Dragon is my pick. Yeah. I, I, I have not there yet. Would you calm down? Because I'm every, just saying. Everyone didn't immediately but, go. Oh yeah, No Man's Sky. So. Yeah. And okay. Fez Two. I mean, I. Yeah. If that was a hype package and that's how people are getting hype, I would rather not celebrate that because yeah, um, it's kind of it's kind of fake hype. It's more of Here's a drama. publicity Ooh. stunt, and everyone gets excited uh, about it. You love drama, Ethan. So we're, we're <laughs> between Blood drama. Dragon oh and Metal Gear Solid Five. You are drama. Uh, I don't, is anybody not voting for Blood Dragon? Blood Dragon would be my second vote. Ooh, Metal Gear right. Solid Five is I, uh, my top. All right. My video card sent me an email that um, since I you know purchased it, they were going to give me Blood Dragon for free. I was like, oh man, yeah, I want to play this game. This, but I had to download Origin, which there's Steam and what's the other? Is it you? Oh, play. You play? No, Ubi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You play. I was like, yeah, you play. I'll wait until. It, I'll, I'll wait until it's on sale on Steam. <laughs> and then I'll just buy it. But even then I'll you, just buy it. They make you if, you buy it if you buy it through Steam, it still has to open through Uplay. Yeah, it'll still do that. Seriously? Yeah. You're, uh, boned. You're boned no matter what. <laughs> uh, Chat's talking about uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. That wins for most hype packages. But <laughs> most, <laughs> most hype <laughs> that's, a, that's a different category. Total, yeah. total number of, of hype packages. Best. Yeah, see, Jason, Jason and Chat's never heard of No Man's Sky. It wins for 75 yeah. right, so hype packages. We've got three Blood Dragons. Uh, where's Where are you landing, Jordan? Oh, I didn't know. I feel like... Good. Well, he kind of just said he. I I I zone out anybody. Any, anytime he makes his origin, I just was waiting for him to be done talking. Um, yeah, <laughs> not a real big Metal Gear 
guy. I really liked the first Fires game, and I love, <laughs> I loved all that drama around first two. But man, Blood Blood Dragon, yeah, just the yeah. cover art for Blood yeah. Dragon, just yeah, right. that the, whole the Saturday other, morning cartoon thing, just awesome. The other tiebreaker is it Blood Dragon was the winner for our offline vote, so I'm gonna okay, give, we're gonna give it to Blood Dragon. So best high package goes to Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. Uh, other finals are Metal Gear Solid Five, Phantom Pain, or whatever the hell that na- the actual name of the game is, or if it's two games. <laughs> <laughs> and then, how many games? <laughs> and then uh, all the everything around Fez Two. So congratulations, except to you, Phil uh, Fish. Go Phil Fish. <laughs> Phil Fish. <laughs> Phil Fish. Oh man. We should say go Canada. Go See? Canada is the reason I'm Fez exists. That. <laughs> oh yeah, you bunch of hosers. <laughs> Maple oh. syrup, hockey. <laughs> Didn't they give him all the money for Fez? He got some kind of grant from Canada. Probably. I think so. Yeah, it sounds like something. Yeah. They, yeah, they gave him all the all the taxpayer money. <laughs> all the taxpayer all of the taxpayer <laughs> money. All the taxpayer in, money went into building Fez yeah. for five years. Wait, no, wait, Canada doesn't have taxes. They free health care though. <laughs> they free health. Yeah, Fact. I knew that. <laughs> Fact. Fact. <laughs> Canada free healthcare no taxes. That mean that each each but segment. but that's why healthcare have, is free is because fish. because your whatever money they take goes to fill we're, fish. We're they just don't get sick. Fact. <laughs> In Canada, <laughs> it's cold, so you just don't get sick. Speaking of cold, it's getting it is getting a little chilly. Here. Yeah, make Jordan close so let's window. get warmed up with some best trucks. Trucks for best vehicular. That's a fun word to say. Vehicular, vehicular. experiences and uh, games in 2013. I like how many um, of our categories end in Z. And that, that's, it, it works. Why don't they all end in the Z? The Jackdaw. Jackdaw, that is a ship. That is a boat if there ever was one. <laughs> There's a conversation Justin, about that. That is not a truck. That is <laughs> <laughs> it's a boat that you can swim in. It's as much of a, <laughs> it's as much of a truck Justin as can, pants or guns. Justin can walk <laughs> around in the bottom say, of the Jackdaw. Yeah. Justin, Justin saw more of the boat than most. The Z Justin knows the innards. opposite of what we just said. So. <laughs> Got all up inside that boat. <laughs> I like I like my boats. <laughs> um, let's see hey, what what else what else jumps out, Coop. I don't, I don't remember what I voted for. Ethan, uh, the final vehicle in uh, Blood Dragon. Oh yeah, Blood Dragon. That was my vote. Yeah. Blood Dragon. <laughs> God, thanks for that spoiler, by the way, Ethan. <laughs> Which one? Oh man! We cut like, here's a, I convinced people were convinced to play that game. Here's the highlight. Stream that. No, yes. Oh, it's the uh-huh. ending. We do <laughs> daily highlight videos, and you're like, "Oh, here, use this one." I was like, "Did you just make me watch the ending of Blood Dragon?" <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched it. I'm I'm clean. Oh, there. Here's the. What is the Screaming Eagle? The Screaming Eagle is Screaming the Eagle Jet. Okay. Saints Row Four. Okay. Euro Truck Two. What, what, Aaron, you haven't Got seen the chat. end of Blood Dragon? I have yeah, not seen the ending of Blood Dragon. Are you going to play Blood Dragon? We have a highlight. I have it now, yeah. We have a highlight. I'm not going to watch that. Did you, watch, did you post watching, that highlight? No, I didn't post that highlight. Game. <laughs> it was like the the day after the well, game was out. It's probably cut in our Twitch channel. You it's, go, I mean, it, it exists. Watch it's the end. out there. I will, I will not watch that. Um, and uh, I, I I heard some Euro trucks. Yeah, Euro, Euro trucks, trucks gotta be here. Oh yeah, definitely. Those are good trucks. Those are actual <laughs> trucks. In Josh's absence, no, it's, it's the most abstinence. Abstinence. Yeah, I'm just way sick. <laughs> not not on the road. No, not that not that you guy. Can't, can't do it on the road. No. <laughs> do we? Especially oh. not after an accident. I don't know. I don't know. Dean's putting a, trying to get a vote uh, from chat for the trucks in Just Cause Two multiplayer truck boats, but. In the the boat, yeah, the boats were the, boats the boost. Were, the the boats fact were that good. everything had a boost button. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Being able to just launch a boat. Remember that for our gameplay thing. Okay. Our okay. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. I don't think that is on our honorable list. mention to just cause two <laughs> multiplayer trucks and boats. Um, I like this. I like trucks this nominee. Boats. The human body. The human body. Saints, and Row, Saints 4. Row Four. I like that too. I didn't even think about it until I saw it on the list. That's very clever. I would have bet against that. Is that when you surf on the bodies? <laughs> it's just <laughs> running around, man. Being you a didn't even need trucks yeah, in Saints Row 4. Um, oh, okay, your right. body is a truck. Berserker. Speed sailing when Waker HD. I'm going to write that down. The mech from Saints Row 4. The mech was a good time. I thought so. Firing, what is it, rockets? Were there lasers? Them trucks and ATVs and Defiance. Mm, we yeah, had some good times. Nice. Oh, those first weeks of defiance. <laughs> Ethan, how do you feel about the trucks and the vehicles in State of Decay? You know, um, 
I used them they early. They're useful, game. but they're 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 not. There's nothing about them that okay. I don't know. I mean, it would be tough to argue against all these. Okay. They're great. They're useful. I mean, they're, they're some of the most useful things in that game. But uh, compared to, I think compared to um, Defiance, I mean, there's not a whole lot of ramping in <laughs> Save the Decay. You know, <laughs> but that's a big part of the Z in uh-huh. trucks is ramping. That's also uh, an understood aspect of the Z at the end of truck. And Coop is still playing Cookie Clicker. I am playing Cookie Clicker. <laughs> oh, well, go. cookies, cookies on Cookie Clicker. Is that a vehicle? Uh, there, a vehicle there aren't any Ford? trucks. Can you drive the Grand Mall around? I think it's more of a gun. Okay. Okay. There are rocket ships in Cookie Clicker. <laughs> <laughs> um, since Close. this is uh, Josh Lee's honorable ca- category, we're still hoping he might jump on later in the show, but he is. <laughs> so we might revisit it. Is what um, you're saying? Well, if he comes back. in here like in a. A f- in a rage for you. <laughs> fever panic <laughs> yeah stop okay. the show <laughs> did anybody else play sir you were being hunted i did yes. not no now the hot air balloons i think they're really cool as a vehicle you don't use them as a player you though if you could that game would be really easy so uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they are the goal cool. is to get it's off the island unique. just get in the hot air balloon dude <laughs> just, just, yeah <laughs> There's, look, there's a hot air balloon over there, man. What are you hiding that bush for? Yeah, but the, the robots slowly. could shoot you down, couldn't they? It's not a safe place. Robots can't look up. Oh, they can't look up. Yeah. Fact. <laughs> um, Chad is asking about Dead Rising 4. Uh, I think they mean Dead Rising 3, but that is not under consideration this year. We decided to table the next-gen stuff because not enough of us could could get to play it. So yeah. he the did. Dead Rising 3 vehicles did, would be He did correct involved, himself with the 3. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you, you're right. Yeah. Ass. I apologize, PF. <laughs> I am an ass. That's your job. I apologize you call for calling you out, PF. <laughs> um, you dickhead. One of my clearly <laughs> three. Someone block him from chat. Yeah. Mod him. Block him from chat. <laughs> I would, but I'm still not a mod. <laughs> from our uh, charity you marathon. Never will be. <laughs> the horses in Battle Block Theater. The horses are funny. I don't know. If they're the best just, trucks, just them, like some of this stuff, I just it's it's to mention them. Well, at the just end of the making year. a list here. <laughs> just making a list. Just, just putting things stuff. on there. <laughs> this is like the Buzzfeed of uh, uh, award shows. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> any, anything from that game? I don't want to talk about Aaron. Which game is that? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, 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 the jet. Yeah. From that game, you don't like? I yeah. I mean, as far as is is it a standout vehicle or is it just no? Okay. <laughs> 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 We have, a, on. we have there's a, like a little ATV that uh, Trevor gets. That's kind of it's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Is it's it more fun than fun. the ATVs and trucks? It's not best yeah. trucks with because a S, best trucks with a Z. <laughs> best right. trucks, no kind yeah, of fun. Yeah, can be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just there's a lot of there's a lot of places to ramp it out in the area that he lives. There are ramps. Yeah, there's a stunt jumps in GTA. Um, okay, okay, but uh, good. you can't ramp the jet. You'll never be a truck salesman because the first thing you say to someone is not "it's kind of fun." It's you say ramps, and that's all you need to do from then on. That's not that's, how I would begin. It's this. kind Let's of. Start it's kind of I'm a interested ramp. in a GTA Five uh, uh, fucking four wheeler. Roller skates and Pokemon. There are ramps in that game too. I didn't nominate that though. Okay. I don't Roller think that's skates. a truck. Uh, I don't consider yeah. those skates a truck. And uh, we we have the Screaming Eagle jet from Saints Row Four already on the list. So when you have a jet that's shaped like an eagle and just a regular military jet, that eagle jet's mm-hmm. gonna win every damn time. Eagle jet. Yeah, yeah. Um, any other additions before we start narrowing this down? <laughs> this right. is gonna be good. <laughs> All right. So what can we remove? I'm gonna get rid of everything but the human body from Saints Row Four. So I think that's. Are you yeah. The human body wins. Human body is better than uh, the It's the, the best representative of that game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So get rid of the screaming. Yeah. yeah. Screaming eagle. Buy an eagle. Uh, bu- 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 oh man. I don't know. What oh, this sorry, horses. Vehicle. Yeah, get rid of the horses. You didn't actually deserve to last this long. <laughs> <laughs> but I got some chuckles out of you. Oh, that's a that is ooh. Damn. No, I think. Oh, you're right. Over there, what just happened? Okay, just reacting. To I the think list. the Euro trucks need to be in the top three. Those are those they're are real trucks. trucks. Those that's, are trucks. That's his truck. You gotta have skill for those trucks. If you can ramp that truck, honestly, in this list, human body is the weakest for me. Yeah. Yes. I liked yeah. it, but it was uh, you know. Yeah. I also haven't gone back to play the game. That's what I can. I don't know what the. Final I'm also vehicle. I'm also afraid what that what that means for games in the future. Are we just gonna start getting rid of awesome vehicles, and just? You don't even need them because you can just run and jump and climb. Yeah. So J- JPT yeah. brings up a valid point in, in chat. How many other games 
had a truck that someone actually slid in and took over for the previous player who was driving that truck. <laughs> oh, I, I, like Euro, Euro truck. trucks are not in danger of not being a finalist. To yeah, me, yeah, Euro truck's gonna be there. Yes. <sighs> Damn it. I, I, yeah. The truck glitches. The invisible trucks in Defiance were pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. So, I mean, this the spirit of this is like janky physics and glitches and just fun to drive around and fun to do dumb shit with. Like that's. Mm-hmm. And that's all we did with Defiance. That was that entire game was those yeah those ATVs. I, I think we got to keep them. But, I'll actually, I'll honestly say the final vehicle in Blood Dragon was awesome. It was an awesome moment. However, that was not a good truck because you did not have the control that you do with that's true. these other fun. You know what I mean? Okay. Like it was awesome, but I'm not gonna be. I'm not it's gonna been a while since I played. It, it did did it move itself? I can't really remember. You had some control, but for yeah. the most part, I mean, it was it just a, moved it was forward. A yeah. so, you were dealing I mean, if you with, could so. just roam the entire island with that truck, uh, it would have been be so much better. Yeah. I think I'm more leaning towards cutting the cutting defiance. You would want to cut defiance over blood dragon. Really, I would argue. I would argue. Uh, cutting Blood Dragon over Defiance. We did some trucking, and we did okay. co-op. I mean, you got you know solo cupi- trucking, cupping, yes. solo cupping. <laughs> <laughs> the best truck can you, be trucked. Was by there anything else you guys did in Defiance, but just have fun driving the vehicles? Around? No, that was the thing. No, <laughs> yeah. once we stopped having oh, fun, so we're with cutting the trucks, Blood Dragon. We once you once you stopped, yeah, doing that, that was it for dragon. Defiance, right? All right. My personal vote. Are, are you okay with that, Coop? The yeah, Dodge I, I Challenger. Get, I can get behind it. Well, right. Oh, yeah, the Dodge Challenger. Yeah, I can get behind Dodge. that. Dodge, they make a good car. They had a damn oh, licensed vehicle in that <laughs> fucking Dodge Challenger. <laughs> <laughs> All the right. car manufacturers are available. Okay, so my case for the Jackdaw, oh, now all I was thinking was... Like, uh, is that the ship? That is the ship. That's the from ship. Is the boat? Assassin's it's Creed the dinghy 4. From Boy. Pirate's yeah. Creed? Yes. Um... Where the shanties happen is if if everything <laughs> worked, if everything worked with this boat and like it just was the 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 combat and everything that is fun about it. What do you mean if, if that was it? Works. If that was if if you everything didn't fall through the deck, do everything. Yes. <laughs> if there weren't like if there weren't because you just you just don't mean like your ability to handle the ship. If everything worked well, I wouldn't nominate it. But the fact that it's the physics glitches that oh. that like make this thing so weird and fun. But but not for Well, I wasn't alive too. during that time, but I mean, is that the way you built boats? Yes. You just they fall can disappear. The deck? You can, sw- yeah. you can yeah. swim was, inside of them. He was trapped okay. inside swimming trapped in the in water the that was inside yeah. the boat. Well, that um, makes, you know, if the, there's yeah, a if hole the in the boat the that's boat. filling up with water, and you're yeah, down, you could swim down, down and, there. Yeah. And you're below deck. So to me, it's between the Jackdaw and the Euro trucks. Well, the Jackdaw has that glitch in the game where at a port or a dock, sometimes the boat would be underneath the water and it yes. would just have and to re- elevate yes. straight up. So I think that's yes. amazing. Now, Euro <laughs> Truck had the ability to add giant, um, sp- like, tribal spiders. Yeah, you could upgrade your truck. To your truck. Oh Paint jobs. Oh, decals. Yeah. yeah. Decals. 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 Just, what, can, can you upgrade the jack doll? Yeah. Can you put... You can like, put... Uh, uh, change your flag. I've got a Kraken on the front of mine. Do you? Yeah, I got a so, Kraken statue. Wow. It sounds like we're, we're okay. Like an actual Kraken and you're in the middle yeah, of a... Yeah, I, of a, I <laughs> nailed a Kraken a really to the intense, front of my, An intense battle right now. To the is of my dragging ship. it around. Is anyone arguing for defiance for the winner? I Not won't. with those two. Okay. I didn't experience that, but I had a lot of fun. I played in... Okay, I, my, my vote's the Jackdaw, just to lay that out there. I'm voting for the Jackdaw, even though Spider Decal, but... Yeah. I, I really like that shit. I've had with the Jackdaw, I'm excited about it. I had I had more fun. Are you the lone I, I had more truck. fun watching I'm, you and you and Josh. I'm going to stay strong Euro and truck. support my fellow trucker, <laughs> and I'm I'm going to pick Euro Truck because it's just a boat. If Josh was here, he would he also just, pick Euro Truck. It's, so a, my vote it's, counts. it's a pirate I don't game. Like that so my yeah. vote counts as two. Of course, there's a boat in it. Right. Yeah, you know, it's just a ship. The, the tiebreaker. Our but, community. Our our. <laughs> Our vote actually goes to the Euro truck. Our phantom vote from yeah. Josh, yeah, for Euro. I mean, truck. the boat. The boat <laughs> is like cool. A, the boat is. It's cool. It's a win-win. But it was a win-win. I'm just disappointed. A truck won best truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted a ship. What of the boat what won win? last year? <laughs> I do hear the game really opens up though once you get the boat. <laughs> <laughs> You say the same wait, wait until you've nominated it. Same thing about Euro Truck. It really opens up when you get a truck. When you own, when you own wait, your own truck. Are you borrowing you own your own yeah, truck? Yeah. Things really, yeah. Theft. Things become available. <laughs> yep. And you have to start Whole fixing them. Right right Euro Truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now the. Um, You're welcome, Josh Lee. I think Josh the Lee. award com. everyone was waiting for is up. It's the reason I'm here. 
Game I'm of the year. Fighting. Because no. I'm fighting. It's the reason there's a crotch kick. Fighting for this <laughs> the one. The reason there's a crotch kick. <laughs> this is time for best digital butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the jackdaw. <laughs> jackdaw wins. Yep, this is the one. The jackdaw. I spent all last night modeling this myself. This is our true game of the year. <laughs> so that I could win this category. Are you going to present this to me? <laughs> Right, the revealing gonna, of my game. We've got a lot of these. I'm going to lay out go the through ones. It. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, we've got Joel from The Last of Us. Uh, I'd have to go back and look. I'm going to do the ones with votes. <laughs> um, I'm just going just to... Just, uh, just get them out there. Just skew, type them out the, there. Yeah. skew the voting from the beginning. This one already has my vote. Just, I think this might have my vote, too. Laura Croft's hair. Her hair, her hair I would is like it. I would like it to be noted that Laura Croft oh. was also nominated, but she didn't get any votes. Only her hair got votes. Did you? Did you go in? It wasn't really playable, but did no, you go my, in and I turn it on? A bit, he, he did, yeah, he did a little bit. Yeah, you saw it. it was pretty awesome. Uh, Batman. I think we should note that Laura Croft's hair is not on her butt. Just in case there's any confusion. <laughs> yeah, we're talking Wait, about hold her. On, hold we're on. talking about her hair. Hold on. Yeah, uh, confused about I it. I forgot to go be over helpful. the. Uh, the actual description for this award is the best looking assets on a character this year. Yeah. That's there should, the, be a, should there be a Z at the end of that button? <laughs> people know there. Best digital butts. butts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, uh, we've got Cat from Devil May Cry. That one caught me by surprise when I saw it on the list. I completely mm-hmm. forgot about her. Yeah, you did. <laughs> well, I thought you meant her butt caught you by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, damn. She so came Whoa. on screen. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> Kid, Kid Xmas. So yeah. remember me. And that one actually didn't come from Jordan. It didn't so. come from Jordan. I don't what's even know. The, what's the name of the actual Remember Me character? Millen. Millen. I'm, guess, I'm spelling it like this. Is that right? You have a, is that a picture, Jordan? I need to know what this butt looks like. All right. Well, obviously right from the cover. Oh, if her butt is me. on the cover. Oh. It is. Yeah. That, they focused on that. But okay. kid, yeah, kid Christmas. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find I can't. I don't remember. My Steam. Go, I took a picture of it in Steam. Oh. <laughs> There's, I, uh, I just found a oh, picture the, from the, the model go. from right from directly behind him. You gotta, you gotta get it. Oh my, he doesn't, he you gotta, doesn't have a butt. You get, oh no, he got does. A, he's got a pile of stuff inside. You gotta, what? You gotta twist it. What is Nilmar is yelling about Panzer, and I don't know. Now I know what he's talking about. What is he talking about? It's a free to play game on Steam. It has orcs and like magic users and uh-huh. knights. Maybe it's kind of like were there butts. There is a sorceress character that's got some like a and her name's like Panzer? a unitard or something, and her butt, her ass just hanging out. Okay, but no one's yeah, played that's it. That's not what this category is no. about. <laughs> it's too on the nose. It's I, I think yeah. I think Sid from Saints Row Four better encapsulates what we're going for. I think Sid. so. <laughs> like sometimes I put up never mind. Um, and, and you can you can go to town with Sid. The yeah. bro- the, <laughs> he shows you his digital assets. The, the, the brothers. <laughs> From Outlast. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to have to shut this category down. Yeah, I was there, right. And then Ellie from The Last of Us. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to take you outside, Justin. <laughs> Plenty of people on the internet that think that. And hopefully everyone understands the, uh, the actual impetus for this. But the gay hero from Rogue Legacy. Wow. Uh, Rex Power Cult. <laughs> from Blood Dragon. You know my vote. <laughs> uh, did, did, did. Oh, I'm this surprised the female troll for brothers didn't get any votes. Um, and Adewale also from Black Flag, no votes. Um, and then Mom from Gone Home. What? <laughs> <laughs> I need more. I need more answers I need that on that. Ex- <laughs> I need that explained. <laughs> is, is, is there like a, a? Is there like some naughty photographs in no. the in the in the closet? No. There's like a letter where like. Talking about her There's assets, only, like ra- random family JPEGs. I don't, yeah. Like somewhere in Dad's conspiracy theory about Kennedy. There's just a random <laughs> blurb about Mom's ass just being so great. <laughs> All right, Mom's a joke, but it's a good joke. So, Let's this see. is serious, Justin. All right, who can be cut? Who Wasting be cut? our time. A um, <laughs> uh, cat. Uh, cat's cool. Batman. Batman, Batman is a, it's a young Batman. Did you notice young Batman's butt more so than no? Okay, I mean it's it's then, always Batman. All right, he's always gonna have a butt. He's always got the butt. All right, he's always gonna have a butt. Remember me's is Kid Xmas or Nillen gone? I'm. I feel like I've been swayed more because Nillen's butt is actually on the uh, the cover. Well, so here's the problem with Nillen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, now this is where this is gonna yeah. Be and I I've, I've have, played this, so we, we can do it out. Words. <laughs> and it's it's not her fault. 
it's the people who modeled her. But the, the <laughs> but the keep talented saying, and brilliant individuals who modeled her. It only looks good when she's standing there walking. She bends over and it's it gets all I couldn't get her. It gets all I couldn't get her to bend over. I tried, it tried that for it, hours. It, it gets she gets she gets really she gets really deformed when she's climbing up on stuff. Mm-hmm. And it loses yeah. it loses its shape. Turn that back in. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I'm I'm trying to find my Kid Xmas shot. Just okay, so yeah, I'm not because all the pictures I'm seeing of yeah, no, I, I, just, I got one of just big, anyway. It's just thighs that go all the way up to um, his to his lower back. <laughs> thighs for days. I'm not seeing any definition. Oh, here we go, screenshots. Really I almost want to get rid of uh, Gay Hero Rogue Legacy. Yeah. I don't get that. One. I get Why the joke there? there, but they all look the same. <laughs> That was, the, yeah, I would, that was the joke. I would maybe go with uh, the gigantic hero from Rogue Legacy. Are you, like big, that, are you that saying you like big butts? That butt gets bigger. I cannot lie. Uh, to work books. with. Why not? No, we can get rid of that. Yeah, uh, just get rid of all Rogue Legacy. I, I appreciate the Sid joke, but... <laughs> no. He's he's all he's okay. all mouth to me. All right, here we here go. We go. Yeah. All, he is all mouth. There. Oh my god! Look at that. That's a, that's completely different. Yeah, than look at that chat. Jordan, you did Kid Christmas no justice. <laughs> the only guy that has played the game is the one intensely looking at. Wow. <laughs> need the information. Mm. That's a different story. It's a, it's a good. Yeah, like everybody in chat class? can thigh, go. I think the thigh does become a butt. Can go to that's my Steam butt. profile. That's a good butt. Hold it up for Ethan. Good go. That's. That oh, man does yeah, squats. That's not what I was expecting. Go, yeah, go to my Steam profile, and it's in my screenshots, because we need some outside opinion on right, Kid so Xmas. Sid, Sid is leaving because he's all mouth, not Get rid of Sid. <laughs> Sid's all mouth. <laughs> is there a case for Joel here? I'd have to look at Joel. I, I can't I can't say that it's I stared weathered. at... It is an experienced <laughs> digital butt. <laughs> is it, so experience. are you voting for young Joel's butt or old Joel's butt? Old, you're with old Joel's butt more. All right. See, I, I didn't look at it. I need some. I respect that butt. I need too some much, proof. So I liked his shirts. We're just talking. <laughs> okay, if we're okay. just talking about assets all together. He had some good grizzled. Yeah. Like yeah. facial. He was, hair he was a man. A man. Yeah, yeah he, he was a man's man. And he had like that salt and pepper thing going on yeah. too. Yeah. He's a yeah. good looking. Older, right. I'm okay with cutting man. Joel. I'm okay with cutting Joel. I'm okay with cutting Joel. And if you want to talk about assets, well, I like. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Actually, backpacks. hold on. Backpacks. backpacks. Yeah, the problem is, <laughs> Last of Us is third person. He How much fit. do you see Rex Power Colt's assets? Uh oh. Um, you don't okay. have to see it much because okay. the moment that you do, okay, <laughs> actual moment All right. in the entire game outside of you know five other moments. Uh, okay. It's a, it's a, it's a powerful one. Yeah. Hey, somebody, so somebody, waiting. click on Mike's link. He said that's his right. case. I'm afraid of what that's going to do to my. What am I looking for in here? Though? It's Steam community, so it can't be too bad. No, I, I, no, I'm afraid it'll screw oh, up. Oh yeah, my, here, I'll do it. My little setup. Oh, that's it. offensive. I got it. That's just pornography. Oh, those starbound about butts. This butt. <laughs> the Saints Row butt. He's oh, clicking yeah. on starbound butt. It's starbound. <laughs> why does he have? So, why does Mike the Dean have so many pictures of butts on his Steam? Why don't <laughs> yeah. you have more? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of butts. All right. Could just be all the third person. Okay, we got it down to four. I don't know what Rex power quotes, but I miss. Yeah, it, it's a see it to believe it. Uh, let me let me go ahead and give you a little help here. Okay, my I mean, I'm about I'm about to cut Xmas. It's it. I I appreciate he 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 makes a strong case. He's made it to the final four. Wait, when did we cut Nillen? We cut Nillan when he when was talking about her. Like, bastards. just it would get weird. <laughs> it would get weird. would get weird. There were some weird moments. Weird butt moments. Not not. A, have you seen a butt? They get weird. <laughs> <laughs> have you, you seen a real seen butt? butt? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we've already we've already cut people that I enjoyed more than Nillan. So, okay, she's got to go. Why am I even I'm here? Go ahead. Put I this yeah, into the. Uh, <laughs> get out of my <laughs> building. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pack up. Get out of here, guys. Oh, wait. Okay. He's bringing up Uh-oh. Rex Power Colts. He's linked to it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well done. They use, oh, they use their cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. My vote has changed. Give it a Kid Christmas. All right. Okay. Yeah, Kid Christmas. Ethan has fine. done it. Because <laughs> we haven't even talked about the brothers from out last. Yeah, I don't. Their, I don't remember the brothers. Their digital assets haunt me. It's, so, it's not yeah. about what's behind They're, them. I mean, <laughs> it's about what's in front. No, I mean like. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I remember. Yeah. Because of their assets, they're like the most intimidating. Those two characters. guys are just walking around naked. So it's yeah. just two crazy uh, yeah. naked guys. Yeah, coming, they are, at, they are, coming at you. But, but they are towering. They are buff. 
mm-hmm. guys and for a horror game describe, where you're hiding from describe people. Describe in great detail the buffness of these naked individuals. Oh, they're well-spoken <laughs> as well. I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, oh, yeah, they are well-spoken. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Which is a creepy Well spark. spoken. Is anybody voting against... <laughs> well spoken. <laughs> My winner is Laura Croft's hair. I'm going with Laura so Croft's I, hair. So I, I made it halfway Larry through the Croft. game thinking like, eh, her hair looks like crap. Because I bought, I got this like powerful new computer and I just assumed it would have... Because it went ahead and checked and like turned all the, uh, turned all the yeah. presets up to the highest. And I was like, hey, just hair just looks like a wet mat. There wasn't... I read it's, something about setting. it. There's a setting, yeah, that... This, and it was off, so I turned it on, and then <laughs> it went into slow yeah. motion. Yeah, and the wind yeah. Went. Then <laughs> I'm just like a shampoo, the fan kicked shampoo on high on your computer. Oh my god! Yeah. Do you know any <laughs> what, other, what other assets this year like literally had a graphic? Had, setting yeah, had here. a setting on their own. Yeah, that like that's, that <laughs> that's would, a good that, point. That would that, burn some people's computers. In my know. offline conversation with Josh, um, that also are such a big deal that they're releasing an entire new version of the game next year for new consoles so they can have that hair. That is the entire reason we're getting a Game of the Year edition of Tomb Raider I didn't next know year. That. Is I so they it. can have that hair. So the game, the console I mean, versions right now, yeah, I yeah. guess they couldn't. So Can the new console handle the hair? Although, I will say, Ethan, <laughs> you, gave me a new, you gave <laughs> me a new appreciation for Rex Power Colt's digital butt. But yeah, he's. I mean, it's a, you know, but but again, I, I just like I said with the last one, I'll concede to Laura Croft's hair because one, like the whole world made a huge deal out of it, and two, Rex Rex Colt didn't, uh, you know, put his butt out there like yeah. maybe he could. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the first person game. All I mean, right, kept it hidden. This year's best digital butt goes to Laura Croft's hair. Other finalists are the brothers from Outlast <laughs> and Rex Power Colt <laughs> from Blood Dragon. Way to go, Laura Croft's hair. Yay. <laughs> it was a struggle this year, but you fought to the top. So our, our best trucks was a truck, but our best butt was hair. <laughs> Which, <laughs> we're back on track. Yeah. We're, we're back on track. We're getting back to the road. <laughs> it's the way this show does stuff, yeah. All right, moving on. The next award is the More of These Award, which is essentially... I'd also like to nominate Laura Croft's hair. <laughs> more, no, more of these hairs. <laughs> we need more of these hairs. Yeah, Everywhere. This is the mid-tier game of the year. It wanted to be AAA, but wasn't quite there, and it was better because it didn't try to be. So this is, we're just, as games grow and, well, shrink with indie indie games, like we're trying to still appreciate those middle-tier games that, don't, that are probably an endangered species at this point. So... Um, it's kind of a gray area. We can make yeah. the calls as to what we think are um, middle tier games, but some of our nominees: XCOM, or well, the Bureau. I forget the name of it. That one. It's like Declassified. Yeah, is yeah. in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even the name of the game, but you know, what I'm talking about. <laughs> the you one, know what we're talking about? The one with the hats <laughs> and the, yeah, the, 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 the old timey one. Yeah, that one. Shadow Warrior. Stupid game. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Blood Dragon. Uh, what a stupidly great, great game. Mm-hmm. I like that. De- Defiance, I Defiance. don't think they intended it to be. It didn't um, intend it to be middle tier. Um, let's see. Actually, I think V brings up a good point. Remember me. Oh, yeah. I don't think Remember Me got nominated. It did we'll not get nominated. We've we'll already talked about it enough. So. Um, let's see. Payday 2. Yeah. We don't have Ghost. Y'all. Um, just because you're sitting next to me, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Although I think they think that's AAA, but I I, I thought about that when I was putting it on the yeah, list. Yeah. Wait, do you they got, have you to think it is, or do we have to think it is and then realize it's not? That's yeah, what? this is our awards. So let's not argue game shit. Let's just get the list out. <laughs> we do what we want. It's a gray uh, area of what's. AAA. I'd say the same thing for Pikmin Three. That's uh, I don't know if that's mid 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 tier. I was thinking, like, if you yeah, threw out no Nintendo, Nintendo characters and you were like Captain Olimar and that stuff, people would be like, what? Like people oh, cool. know Mario. Put Defiance twice. Yeah, but that makes it sound like Nintendo is a uh, middle tier publisher. Yeah, oh, we'll come back to it. Metal Gear Rising. Damn you, Jordan. <laughs> Revenge. They did make their own console. Uh, <laughs> Call of War is. <laughs> stop, stop being right. <laughs> Wonderful one hundred and one. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful 101. Every uh, every game Platinum makes. Let's just put all that on there. And Fire Emblem. What else am I missing here? I think that's 
Yeah, that's that's our list. That's Is there anything else it. you guys can think of mid tier, or if you're not even sure if it's mid tier, go ahead. We can we can make some calls here. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Pikmin. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, that's fine. Um, so Dragon. Else? Dragon's so these are, these are mid tier games, right? Yes. Dragon's Is, Dragon's so Dragon. it's Splinter Cell really not AAA? Oh, Dragon's Crown didn't I, make it. That, that was, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking. Dragon's Crown. I feel like it's supposed to be AAA. Dragon's Crown. Yeah. yeah. I'll replace. Yeah, it replace off. Blacklist. Wonderful wub wub. <laughs> <laughs> Arma three. Same with, same with Metal you know Gear. Is, is Metal Gear for supposed to be triple A? I would argue. Did I move that? I up? would argue Metal Gear Rising. Uh, well, it, it wanted a, to be. I don't think that it is a triple A game. It's because it's it's from Platinum, and they make like they're kind of like in this weird niche of like they make these kind of games that take a while to pick up how to play them. Um, they have a crowd. Yeah. I think the people that are playing. Want games like Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, Ooh. 4 even aren't playing Injustice. Revengeance That's true. for Injustice. that same thrill. All right, uh, I so can get behind that. What about Walking Dead? What, we're moving Revengeance because of not no, being middle tier enough? I put an argument. Yeah, Walking Dead, we probably there. need to wait till the whole Walking series Dead, is yeah. done. Walking Dead and yeah. Wolf Among Us are not eligible this year. Yeah, I wouldn't put those on I, there. Yeah, I don't think the Bureau, now that I think of it, I don't. I wouldn't. I hear the Bureau. It well, wait, why AAA. are we taking... Oh. Yeah. Keep moving it up. Okay, so that's. I think that's our list, though. Injustice. Okay. Is there a game to Arma Three? I mean, is there yeah. actual like single player? No, I think it's all. But that's there's plenty of just multiplayer games. Huh. Oh wait, didn't we get rid of Splinter Cell? I thought it. I thought it had like missions and stuff. You do. Arma yeah, Three. It it's probably I'm like yeah. I'm something. not gonna pretend to know. Yeah, no, they have like you know infantry. I'm putting this. it on the list for for Dean because we can't talk about Guild Wars Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can. <laughs> now I want to really badly. <laughs> All right. The urge is there. Yeah. So let's. Do we need to get stuff off this list? You need to get this stuff off this what, list. What the hell does more of Defiance mean? Do you well, want... and, and to me, Defiance was not a mid tier yeah. game. They wanted it to be bigger. And I don't know if. Uh, yeah. Compared to the other and ones, it's got, and it's got too many price flaws. And presentation. Like, it, it, they put a lot of time into that. And they not... had a fucking show yeah. on Sci Fi Channel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I would I would take Remember Me off. It was you, I mean you guys Jordan you love it right? Like, you, <laughs> I or don't. I can't tell if you're sarcastic or not. No, like I said before, it's because I literally went Bioshock Infinite, Tomb Raider, then Remember Me. <laughs> yeah. It just it has <laughs> like, it I has like, one. I feel like that really hurt my my level of enjoyment with it. They did one part of it really well with the mem- memory manipulation yeah. stuff, but outside of that, oh, the game looked really great. Yeah, I mean it, it looks it looks good, like visually it's the graphics are good, yeah. the environment's really good. It's but just, it's just you know, the, court. It's just the story is kind of boring. Quarters into yeah. into a fight room to a quarter to a fight room to a quarter to a boss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I would, I would actually take off Fire Emblem for I just Nintendo's so weird. Like they, they're not given that middle tier focus like. Budget yeah, kind of like what Jordan said. I, I, they they make Fire Emblems. This yeah. There's been Fire Emblems before this. There will probably be some like, after. So I've never would, played one, but all those like JRPG games, like handheld games, like that all just blur together in my mind. Like I can't picture in my mind the difference between Fire Emblem, like default bravely and yeah. uh, Fire. <laughs> like I mean, Awakening is really default. good. Yeah, Awakening stand, I think stands on its own. Okay, but, but uh, um, so Metal Gear uh, Rising think, Revengeance. What is that? A, is that another game? Is that another Raiden game? No, that's the Raiden game. That, that's that is? the one. Yeah. That's the that's the sword. Yeah. The okay. sword is there. I mean it's a it's a spin off, so I think it falls in the mid mid tier. I but, think so. Um I, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Injustice and Arma three. I don't think we can talk about Arma three. Um, I know nothing about Arma and three. In, Injustice. Nope. Sorry, V. Um Injustice was interesting, but ultimately. I don't. I didn't have as sharks. High. Yeah, Mike. Mike said Fire Emblem was a huge release. I yeah. would take more shark special moves though. Yes, <laughs> and more sharks. <laughs> with a nominate that too. Remember that sharks with bows. Okay, Sha- okay, Shadow Warrior. You were you were still flawed. Like I enjoyed. I enjoyed what you were. What's flawed I would have about maybe it? Argued a Shadow Warrior. Huh? I would have maybe argued for okay. Shadow Warrior. Yeah, that Warrior. game okay. was stupid. Um, in comparison, I to could, Blood Did Drag, you stick with the stupid. wonderful one on one? Like I, lo- I love the premise of one, but I didn't. 
I didn't play. I have only played the demo because I have not gotten the real game to actually work on my Wii U. Right. Do you do you at least appreciate like that? This is strong. I like this. that. I is like a, these. That variety. is a crazy new IP. Like just yeah, that's and, why and I want and more, new game. And I want more. Like yeah, that, and the, the just the imagine it, yeah. imagination behind it. Okay, that's what I wanted it there for. Okay. Okay. Shit. Why is Call of Juarez on there? I've seen you play because that, that game. Awesome. Is badass. <laughs> These two <laughs> is why it's. Is there. that the one where you spent like five minutes trying to jump over that? Yes, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> For the record, I run into his. Okay, I do appreciate. Yeah, I, I didn't I did. run into his made-up jump. Puzzle. I do appreciate that kind of um, like Stanley Parable like narration thing that's going on in the game, yes. where the narration it like it changes to what you're doing. In the pacing, the like uh, that game is just tight. It is there is no there's no fluff to it. It's like twenty bucks, get in, get out. Okay, things. Oh, okay. Wild West, great storytelling, great story, great characters. Like they graphically, style's great. It's yeah. I have no, I have nothing bad to say about Gunslinger. So okay. I if, would, you, if you took away the narration, it, it plays. Would a, it be a boring game? Like it was just um, yeah. It was just a western shooter. Yeah, but the the narration well, plays up the pa- like it's yeah. the still, pacing, and the duels are awesome. It may be more boring, but it's still. I mean, it's as from a first-person shooter perspective, it's as tight as a AAA game. Like you controls really well. Yeah. I never felt it like I couldn't way. hit anything. And the authentic, um, uh, the history in the game too, right? Yeah, the authentic <laughs> history. That's cool. Yeah. Though. I like that they pulled in historical characters, hunting down the Sundance Kid, Billy the Kid, other kids. Well, shooting children. Now that, that we're that talking about Gunslinger, I uh-huh. I reverse what I said about Shadow Warrior about keeping that one. I think, I think it's the weakest of, of those. It's five. the weakest of the group. Yeah, I think it's sure. the weakest of those. Like five. it's got it's got more like uh, more pacing issues. It's harder to it's not yeah. as fun to play sometimes. Like when it's when it's cooking, it's a it's a blast. But when it's in the kitchen, sometimes cooking, it's simmering. Shit, I don't fucking. Like but if it's in the living room trying to cook, I'm just gut reaction. Nothing. I'd cut revengeance. Out of these. Revengeance is my argument. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I don't understand which one revenge is. Are you Blood Dragon, is. Ethan? Um, yeah, I'm Blood Dragon for a reason outside of, I mean, within yeah. the mid tier, but I, I think, yeah, I, I've got my reasoning for yeah. Blood Dragon. Where are you? Where are wait, you? wait, was Far Cry 3 mid tier? No. no um, <laughs> I don't it wasn't, but Blood so. Dragon but itself. Blood Dragon is. The reason, well, no, I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll I, I, it once we get down to the yeah. top three. I'm, I'm, and I'm all for the spirit of Blood Dragon for this award. So. Yeah. Um, where are you at, Coop? Uh, I'm, I'm between Gunslinger and Payday, actually. Okay. I kind of want Payday in the top. I like Payday. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played Metal Gear, so I... That's what I want. I'm I think I'm biased alone on against that one. So. I, I want to fight between Gunslinger and Blood Dragon, but I want Payday in the finals too. Yeah. So, Revengeance. I mean, if if I'm the only one here on Revengeance, I don't think I can persuade. Well, you. Were, what you do you like, like about you? Were, you're saying Revengeance to win. What do you like about Revengeance? Me personally, yeah. I just like uh, I like the sword play and the just the deviation from what Metal Gear typically yeah. is, and it's it's more action yeah. rather than mean stealth, and mm-hmm. yeah. the the difficulty of it. It takes some some skill to learn how to work that sword and like score run through these levels and stuff. And I, I would like to see them try this again. Do we cut payday? But I guess in that regard, payday two is a better payday. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, if someone were to ask me, Hey Aaron, what do you want from payday three? I don't at this moment know because payday two is just so much bigger. I believe in scope than payday was. But I liked how gunslinger was. I can see how you want more of those. I'd be okay with cutting payday. What's that, Ethan? I I think it's tough. Like I think revengeance that the the aspect of it that I think is is interesting is a a mechanic as opposed to a mid tier spirit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Because they did have. I mean, I know it's not the biggest developer, but they did have a budget that I believe was blue probably three times considerably higher than everybody else. (laughs) Seriously. What I like about payday is it kind of brings back that old, you know, feeling people got when they played counter-strike it's just there there are very few cooperative games like payday which you know mm-hmm. i know we have that category really coming enjoyed, down so like maybe watching you guys play maybe i'm arguing for payday yeah. for the wrong award but that's kind of that's why i liked it it's well when it comes down to it, it it's mm. it's out of all these games what would you want to play more of what would you i mean if they release another one would it be like if there was a payday three would people honestly, be excited 
Honestly, or would they feel, be like, ah, I got I got what I wanted out of Payday 2? I look at these maybe. these four, and I feel like there's more Revengeances out there. I feel like there's always this kind of weird action game out there. Um, yeah. And and honestly, I didn't play it because I just got done with Devil May Cry, so I'd already kind of got. I my, see what you're saying. My stylist yeah. action game. I'm, I'm still on board with it. Okay. But if if I'm the only one and Dean, <laughs> Dean, then I'm not gonna. I can't make it work. Okay. Okay. So I think I think we're good for Payday being not. Nobody's championing that to win, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm between. I don't. I, I'm on the fence, Ethan. So give me your give well, me your Blood Dragon. Here's here's how I feel about Blood Dragon, and here's what Blood Dragon did um, that I think. Okay, so yeah, it's still a first person shooter. It didn't step outside its comfort zone in terms of that. It didn't introduce any mechanics, but what it did introduce is giving a studio the opportunity to take something that people already liked and work with it. Not unlike what happened with uh, Red Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare, that kind of thing. That is what we need more of because we're allowed to get, and it was also a uh, release on its own. So, I mean, you didn't have to have Far Cry 3 to enjoy this. And it worked, I mean, that worked really, really well. And I think more of these studios, studios spend so much time trying to create these new engines and, and, and redoing everything when they could just take their base game and do something wacky and outside, you know, just just go with it, you know, and do whatever they want. And and that, to me, is better than waiting, you know, three years for a game that feels the same or a year for a game that feels the same, you know. Oh, yeah. And so to take some of these engines and work with them and just really have fun with them is going to kind of, in terms of the mid-tier to AAA, it's going to allow us as gamers to enjoy, you know, something that we've already liked, but also not in a, you know, not another military shooter. You know, now we've got this crazy story, and, and, and they put effort into it, and there was a lot of, I mean, with the, the people that made Blood Dragon had a good time doing it, and they yeah. didn't sell yeah. it to you for, they could have sold it to you for, they could have made it DLC, make you get Far Cry 3, but they didn't, you know, and I, to me, um, that sets it apart from from these other two. Not that these other two aren't great, but it's just that spirit, and I want more, not necessarily more Blood Dragon, but more games along those those lines. Sure. I'm going to dovetail onto that a little bit. Like this is one of the reasons I like Majora's Mask so much was, uh, you know, kind of that Legend of Zelda de- development cycles. Yeah. You know, they put a ton of years in between it and it's because they keep trying to just completely, you know, same formula, but completely change the style and all that. But right after, uh, you know, whatever the link to the past or which one was the 64 one? I can't even think what the, what Ocarina of Time? Yeah, that one. I couldn't think of what that name was. <laughs> the, what is um, that game? Well, no, because I loved Majora Mass more than Ocarina of Time. But they just when they got done with that, well, they didn't need to create all these new assets or anything like that. They just went right back in and you know just built a new world with all the existing stuff that they had. So, yeah, I definitely I wish games had just would do that a lot more. They would just finish their game, their main. And I guess this is kind of happened a little bit with just like DLC, like. Skyrim, like they did that, uh, they turned around a bunch of times. I'll be honest, I, I don't, I don't have the energy to fight for Gunslinger over over Blood Dragon. Like I like, I think I, I personally prefer Gunslinger as the standalone game, and I think that's really neat that it was a, uh, it it came out of nowhere. It kind of like pulled a, it was kind of similar in Blood Dragon that it was just this self contained thing that obviously was built off of tech that already existed, but the fact that it was on its own is kind of unique. But um, but I don't know. In the spirit of this award, I still I I'm siding towards Blood Dragon. My only problem with Blood Dragon is, I mean, if we're if we're truly sticking to mid tier game, it's like yes, Blood Dragon was this separate standalone game in a mid tier price range, but it had AAA behind it. I it mean, started as a AAA yeah, game. I mean, if yeah. if Far Cry Three didn't exist, would Blood Dragon have been what it is? Would it have been possible? Yeah, would it, would it have been like, possible? Would a mid-tier like, so, company made Far Cry and then been able... Because I guarantee that Blood Dragon had more money behind it on like the soundtrack side and on the design side and all the promotional side than... And the Michael Bean side? Than, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Than, uh, than Gunslinger ever could have because it's just, you know, the Call of Juarez franchise just isn't as big as the Far Cry franchise. Where's your head at, Aaron? Oh, well... You're you're all tearing me in both directions. Essentially, <laughs> when Jordan made the Majora's Mask illusion, I was like, I I get where that was coming from, and I was on board with. Yeah, saying, but oh, even yeah. that's like the reason they were able to do that's not because they were mid tier. 
It's like, yeah, I mean, maybe I mean, yeah. tier games, not but that's even capable. Yeah. Maybe they're not even capable of doing. But that. that's my only argument because yeah. I mean, personally, I I liked Blood Dragon better than Gunslinger. I had more fun with it. But, but. if if I I'm trying to give the mid tier guy a if chance. If you want to be honest, or, yeah, I feel to like the, I feel like mid-tier. Blood Dragon was a triple A game, masked as a mid tier game. I want more of both. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, it's confusing because the, I mean, the mid tier does make it confusing because we selected a lot of games that probably weren't necessarily. Mid-tier. But based on the if title, really, I mean, I want more. I want more of Blood Dragon because that game was ridiculous. Do we want to yeah. change the, the description of what this? List is or I guess no, it's it, still mid tier. I mean, mid tier is the core of it. Okay. So, I mean, I yeah. Or, I mean, the categories are locked, Aaron. <laughs> this is to, yeah. This is where to is the key? This is to celebrate these games that. Pro- I mean, so let's be honest. We stand a chance actually of seeing more Blood Dragons than we do Gunslingers, because Blood Dragon we took was Blood Dragon that. off and put Wonderful One on One One on One back on there. Yeah, <laughs> let's get wonderful one on one back. Yeah, there. I mean, if we're talking oh, funding, but if we're talking funding, then I kind of look. Then I look at payday two, and I'm like, okay, so do you want more Call of Juarez's, or do you want more payday two? That's like, I mean, it's got a great co op campaign. It's really dense, and it is it is truly a mid tier game that did a lot and has a huge huge community. I mean, yeah, look at it, Gunslinger like, may have been solid, but I think payday you, two is like. How could you have more of Call of Juarez? Just just another one. Because, like, Payday, you could make the actual, like, the crime, like, setting it up. Like, there's at least enough, like, okay, you're not just going there to the bank. You're doing the Grand Theft Auto Five thing and setting yeah. up the heist, and then you're doing the heist, and then you're getting away from the heist, and then you're, you know, back at the hideout or whatever, splitting the loot. But, like, how, how, are you, how do you have more Call of Juarez? Do you just have another game with a narrator? I don't, I don't a, know where the fuck this game came from. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't, I don't know where Blood Dragon came from either, but... I don't but, see it as more of, I want, I want more sequels to Call okay. of Juarez. I see it as, I, I want more games I like to come this. out at this price point that completely blow me out oh, of the okay. water. Stand like alone, I gotcha. short. But like yeah. a, game, a great game like that. Yeah. 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 Being from a middle tier publisher. Yeah. Like, it's not just a Western shooter, yeah. but it's also got this great, funny narrative thing. I mean, as I was playing there. Call of Juarez, I didn't think to myself... Oh, I only paid fifteen. Well, I was. I was it was more of a. <laughs> you were, yeah, I only paid, yeah, I only paid fifteen dollars. I for only this. played fifteen. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's suckers. I would have paid forty. Yeah. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> I mean, I think there are people that would have been completely fine playing that game if it came out on a disc at sixty dollars. Okay. What's your pick, Aaron? Three way tie. Okay. <laughs> no <laughs> payday. Let's say payday's off the table. Get out of here. Three way tie. Revengeance is back. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually ready for you to say, uh, in, that, in that regard, let's bring back Revengeance. I'm still on Revengeance, but I don't know. Would Revengeance be in the same situation as Blood Dragon, where it kind of has help from the Metal Gear series? I feel like Call of Warriors no. is the only one that's truly yeah, mid, I mean, mid-tier. I mean, Call of like Warriors is getting no help <laughs> from its want. previous games. What was that, even? What was that, Ethan? Do what? What would you, what'd no, you say? No, I was going to say, I mean, if you're looking at these, like if... I'm split because it feels yeah. like two different awards, yeah. and, and I've confused myself on this now. So I mean, yeah, mid tier like yeah. Call of Juarez is the okay. most mid tier of all of them. But I'd hate to vote on it just because it was mid tier. You know what I mean? Because I never even heard of it, and I and I and I, li- I know the idea of it, but I do think that there's a lot of those. I, I think there's a lot of the, just like with the same thing with um, Revengeance. Like those, there's going to be more of those games made. There's going to be more small, uh, call you know those moments as well. I don't I. I don't know. It just it's tough there. I, don't, I, feel like I think there will be more of these of, it, more mid-tier. more of these smaller type games. That I don't think they'll be as tightly constructed as Gunslinger is. Like it's so well self contained. Like it's just it just gets in and gets out, and uh, it's it's it was it's kind of rare that it was as um, what's the word just as well put together. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know that they could pull it off again. Right. Just so beefy. It so was, beefy. Were, yeah. <laughs> was so beefy. Uh, oh, I mean, the votes from the site say Blood Dragon, but I also know not everybody played Gunslinger. So, so let's let's talk a little bit about more what makes something mid tier. Is is something? Is it more the price point and what you get, or is it the size of the studio that makes it, or is mid tier simply like you know? Just yeah, because would, just a, triple, a, smaller in, would it, a triple A company make a game and then sell it for fifteen dollars? I mean, I, I guess I always look. I, I'm looking at it as 
did they think this was like a, a big flagship thing to carry them like as a publisher? Yeah. Like, no, this that. is another game we put out. Like, do we mind AAA companies making these mid tier games? Like, just because no, yeah, AAA I guess company that's made, my question. made a game, does that game does it make it a AAA game? Because it's because far because Blood Dragon is it's a mid tier game. Yeah, mm-hmm. but just because it was made by a large, but it had, a large yeah. company, like yeah. it wasn't made by. It's, but that's it's a mid tier game. It's a mid tier game with AAA guts. I mean, and it it because. Damn it! I'm going back around. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, Blood Dragon's target audience isn't everybody. It isn't. It wasn't trying to be. It it wasn't trying to be Call of yeah, Duty no. sales numbers. Like they don't have. They didn't have illusions that that would. Happen. Yeah, they had a. They had a like, specific audience for sure with the marketing. I mean, they were tugging at everybody who used to watch those old cartoons. Shit. Do we have <laughs> a vote? If if everyone has to say a game, can we do that? <clears throat> would that decide this? I, can, I yeah, know I what think I would we need say to now. because we're going to be hung. I mean, yeah, the fact I know that what is I, we're going to be hung up with this mid tier we'll, we'll triple A stuff. We'll count like, to three and I then see. everybody say their game. Well, Revenge. Remember me. <laughs> uh, uh, New Leaf, take a drink. I feel comfortable with the, I'm the go- idea of a AAA company making yeah. a mid tier game. That's why I'm like, I'm too. comfortable with that if getting, leaving Blood Dragon on the table. Like I, I said, I, I would leave Blood Dragon, yeah. So, what, what do we. Le- leave yeah, it. leaving. Yeah, going leave. with Blood Dragon on this. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll go with Blood Dragon too, just because mid tier. If we're not going to define it on price point or who made it, we're just like the effort. Blood Dragon was truly a mid tier game. Okay, Blood Dragon. You're blood. What? Whoa. <laughs> okay, then never mind. Wait, yeah, no. Ch- no, wait, Call of War has. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm feeling uh, real strong. If, if, if no, we're, no, we're good. So, we're yeah, just, yeah, I mean, with, good. with <laughs> even, <laughs> it's okay. With these okay. description, <laughs> now let me justify. <laughs> Because okay. I because I did say earlier that I enjoy Blood Dragon more, and my own, my push for guns. My, well, no, I I, I, I like. Don't think we needed to have like five minutes. Wait, of start all over again, Justin. Put the whole list back on there. My right? my whole hang up was we are. my whole hang up was can a AAA company make a mid tier game? Yeah. Because that's what I think. Fark or that's what I think. Blood Dragon. And is. they can't. <laughs> they can't. No, we can't include. So, Shit. you know, <laughs> we're going to cut this whole All section right. out and just have Ethan saying blood dragon yeah. for five minutes. <laughs> the final version of this conversation is actually only two minutes long. <laughs> it's just well, the hey, and blood, blood dragon wins it. the more of these award finalists. It was uh, tough. Blood two. dragon. You barely made it. Congratulations. It was a semantics win on that. Yeah, one. yeah it was. <laughs> I had to think about I'm sure. I'm butt. sure that's the, the only one we'll have tonight. Yeah, <laughs> it was winning. Then we semantically. Un, we took yeah, it off we list, took it away. But then, we, it. then we brought it back. And then we brought it back. <laughs> Get my thesaurus out. I'm having trouble with words. Opinionated oh. opinions. My Using opinionated opinions. Date Next award is the, the Date Night Award. <laughs> uh, I feel Blood Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's actually some interesting. Remember me. There is some interesting well, I, nominees. I did show the intro t- of that game to my wife uh, <laughs> on what could have been a date night and it ended there. So and it ended the date. Did, did the date night end right there? Yeah. Did she just She's say, like, I'm, calling, I'm calling my girlfriends? <laughs> she went to sleep. You know. I have a headache. <laughs> okay, this is for <laughs> best game to play with a significant other. No, this does not. What if you don't have a significant other? <laughs> That's the only what, caveat. What, what, the, the thing we decided last year, it is, it is not dependent on your significant other's interest in games. So it's more... It's it, what do you there is an play? accessibility factor, but it's like just the, the joy of playing with somebody. Okay, yeah. So, that makes sense. Yeah, because like I said, Diablo 3 won last year. So um, <laughs> First nominee, uh, Super Mario 3D World. I don't know if you've heard of this. This, this um, little, little ditty. Yep. Gone Home, which is interesting for a single player game, but I totally. I know where the argument is. For a single comes player from. video in the, game. In the same vein, Outlast. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Because all of right, the brothers. I, I, got it. <laughs> I okay. mean, all. Yeah, I watch okay, a lot of horror movies. Fine. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Do you? I know, okay. I know. Um, <laughs> oh, man. This, ga- this game is going to struggle today without its champion, Marvel Heroes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's is, no Josh. No, I, what, I, I'm very what indifferent What is that, that game? game. Uh, Starbound. It's like a Diablo-esque collector Oh, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Rayman Legends. Oh, yeah. Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> Get your drink. 
Can you really? I don't know if you can play it the entire night. Though. You, you can't play it together. No. Well, if you, you should have a 3DS. Yeah. You can. Oh, okay. Yes. If you have two D- DSs, you can play. Pikmin three. One, We're in the Aaron nomination section. You can visit each other's town. <laughs> okay. Justin and I visited. Battle Block Theater on, uh, on a date night. On a d- yeah, Aaron, Aaron and I had a nice, date night. nice little date night. That was, that was with Battle Block Theater. I support Battle Block. Uh, anything? Anything else to nominate anybody? Should Path of uh, Exile? You know, yeah, I was gonna say Mike the Dean. I mean, if we had Diablo three in there, I mean, yeah, uh, Path of Exile is <laughs> a datey game. Dating game? Dating game. Uh, it's a dating game. game. Path of Exile, the datiest game on the internet. <laughs> Do not play this if your significant other is easily in- intimidated by skill trees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That web, <laughs> web of skills. Uh, uh, yeah, Jason. Spelunky was Spelunky. just brought up in chat. I was just thinking about that, like games, oh, Spelunky will be competitive games. Yeah, I would not like that. Pull, play that the pole riders one that we did during the uh, the marathon. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. That's because I beat everybody. <laughs> just cost two, two multiplayer. <laughs> I just want to write that, that down. Is low. Games yeah. to ruin yeah, relationships. <laughs> okay. We all have our own criteria here. Let's try not to go down that rabbit hole. So the AAA here. games. Pikmin 3. So, so, so if this is a date night, here's some criteria I'm going to add just, just for fun. Yeah. If it's a first date night, I would not, you know, say this is a good game because of talk the about Star Wars the whole time and play video would, would games. Help you with. Mm-hmm. So on maybe date three or four, where you think there may, may be some hand action going on, <laughs> Outlast is a perfect game <laughs> because that man or woman will jump into your lap at some point within the first two hours of the game, um, and I think that's really beneficial on a date night, especially when you're trying to get the next level, you know. <laughs> <laughs> If you have to spend that's two, really if you have the to, only input I have because have I don't spend two I, hours on I, a my date. My frame of reference for next... date nights is not not in games. What so. if you were on a date and you made it to that part where the guy is like, "Hey, come here, buddy." Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> you're good, fish. Man. I mean, would that ruin the date? Um, because they hit. Oh man, well, actually, like I said, because they hit the same itch, I'm gonna get rid of what Marvel heroes really and keep Path of Exile. Started, oh. Come here, buddy. Hey, buddy. As far as genres well, go. you could say that. Maybe that works. You could work that into the makeout session. Pikmin 3 is not winning this. Just get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> How is the co-op on that? Or is there? There, There is a uh, multiplayer, <laughs> but I've not played it because there's no way I could teach my wife how to play Pikmin 3. I just... All right, explain yeah. to me how the Animal Crossing is is working that's, on a date that's night. That's some late, I, chill... You're doing chores. Right, but together... In like your, you're yeah. helping each other yeah, and you're you, doing you, something you either or have, are you just above, you either, alone, sitting not talking to each other on the couch doing your own you're talking to I don't consider chores chores a good thing to do on day night you don't consider animal crossing a good thing to do <laughs> 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 we just broke that sentence down <laughs> um no i mean it's it's i think it's a really relaxing game to play so i think it's relaxing it's easy there's little to no punishment in playing it it's is there it, it, but you can argue. Are you, are you playing that game together on on date night? Is that any different than any other day of the week when you and your significant other are playing that game? It it, it would be like the uh, what about it that like let's honey it's date night let's <laughs> sit down and play this game together this, like this happens every time we talk about Animal Crossing in front of Ethan <laughs> he gets up and leaves. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're talking no, no, about no, date no, night. No, and he just okay, remembered me, right now he's supposed to be. To me, there are there so are, there are like date night traditions. Like there are a lot of people that you know every Tuesday you do trivia night or something like that. And like I feel like Animal Crossing falls into that. Like you could yes. schedule. Like it's just a once a week yeah. thing. I mean, at the same time, like an Outlast or a Gone Home, that's almost like a movie night. Like it's just yeah, that's your right. selection. Right. Um, and I don't I don't know if it's uh, the th- so I, repetition can work either way. So I think, I think Animal Crossing works because of that. But you can go to the but I'm also not sure. Okay, Battle Block Theater isn't going to win. I'm gonna be good. Yeah, is that? <laughs> it's not competitive. That like you're helping uh, each other, right? All right. Just cause two multiplayer. That'd be that works that, once. It's a good time. <laughs> but that's a good time. I don't know about a date. Okay. Um, Mario 3D World. The only I, I almost want to strike it because. People seem to be kind of annoyed with the co-op with it. Like I would put Rayman Legend. Have you that. have you done? I, has any of you guys done the co-op on it? I've played I, a little bit. I have too. It's fun for the first, the early half of the game, but when the stages get more challenging, it can get frustrating. Okay. Yeah. It's like you need your significant other to be good at video games to get some of the platforming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, you have to be at the same level. 
Yeah. That's that's really. Yeah, you, you pre- I remember running into that together. with uh, New Super Mario Brothers on Wii. It's like my wife loves Mario, but playing so, co-op was difficult because she had to be as good as me. To, yeah, to get through <laughs> yeah. women. So as far and as co-op platforming she goes, games. I, I, I would I, say Rayman Legends over. I would strike 3D World in and leave Rayman Legends just because I've played both of those with my wife and the frustration in 3D World was much greater than running through Rayman Legends. Rain Man Legends. Rain Man. <laughs> Rain Man Legends. Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> just, just a game. <laughs> you it's really weird not seeing him with his arms, with his hands video. just floating around. Just ru- you run around and run into all of his other characters. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, Path of Exile, which one? Why is that on there? Is that, that's a, is that that's a Diablo-style game? It's a yeah. Diablo-style game. Uh, yeah, okay, I remember Ethan playing and that. And we struck heroes, Marvel heroes. Starbound. I I don't feel strong about. Star- I don't feel Starbound. strongly about Starbound. No. <laughs> <Okay. either. laughs> but that's just kind of. We the, got to the root of that one. That's just the same. Like, that's just a, the, like the Terraria experience. I think that I remember Josh talking oh, I mean, about although, a lot like, last the whole, year. The whole building something like I mean, it's an ongoing project. Um, again, I feel like that's the, the Animal Crossing thing I was just asking yeah. about. Like you don't like you don't just sit down and play the game together. It's just something you both are playing together. And you just pick a night of the week. Oh, okay. I see. To commit I see. to playing together. I, there's more cooperation. I don't know. I don't know. There's Whereas, like, I, Gone Home and Outlast, I get that. Like, okay. the idea of, like, that's going to happen once. You're going to be like, honey, it's Friday night. Sit down. This is going to take two hours. Where I'm going is we got to get rid of one of Gone Home or Outlast. We got to get rid of Starbound or Animal Crossing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, they, they cover the same type of. Um, evening, I guess. <laughs> I, I would get rid of Starbound just because it's not the easiest game okay. to get into multiplayer with. We I already struck it once, so if we're still, yeah. now bring yeah, it back. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say <laughs> compared to. I mean, yeah, I, I think I it's a strong contender. The ease of access is not quite there yet. I so. love the idea of Outlast being on this list, but I would strike. Gone it. Home is. I, a lot shorter, right? It's, that like Gone that, Home's only that a couple kind of, of like hours. movie game experience. Yeah. Like, I think. Yeah, I think Gone Home going going through that. I think the together. pacing on Gone Home is tighter than Outlast. Whereas Outlast, you can get stuck yeah. in an area. You're trying to get, <laughs> yeah. you know, sneak around. Well, people. Outlast, you walk around trying to find if, the door you have to go through. If your date doesn't want to watch that, kind, I mean, Gone Home seems like it's a little bit more yeah. universal. Whereas Outlast, I mean, some people do not like that kind of stuff, and yeah. that's not going to be a good date night for you. Yeah, I don't know. But all the, get you some all the horror and ghost and everything in Gone Home isn't that kind of. <laughs> it's not the same thing, no. The ghost hunting. So Ethan, All you played. Through, I don't. I don't know what the ending. Lightning strikes. The end of Path of Exile. Um, yeah, start down like, is still about, in pre-release. I'd say a quarter of the way through that game. So uh-huh. does the pacing keep up? Like, do you feel like it still hits our Diablo three itch from last year? I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm just like with me. Um, I to me that's not a date night game but the argument for diablo 3 last year i don't remember exactly what it was but it made sense i think josh had had experience with date night on diablo 3 path of exile is there's a depth to path path of exile that is it compared to diablo 3 where you can jump in there and it's kind of josh's argument last year was that he could help his wife you know catch up with him and stuff path of exile is nothing like that i mean there's get out of here that skill tree and all that kind of stuff so i would cross that off just because you're not just going to jump into it the barrier of injury is kind of lacking mod it and this this year i'm going with gone home for this I, i i think that sounds good i didn't even play it but it looked yeah I want to watch one somebody play it. Uh, oh, I've I heard enough. I've Justin heard enough it. about it. Yeah, that it's just like like reading a short story or watching and like watching a film. Yeah. Yeah. As a video game, I don't know. <laughs> are we yeah. are we okay with Animal Crossing losing? I'm never okay with Animal Crossing <laughs> losing, but <laughs> two shots. But gone home. I, I like yeah. the idea. Of, <laughs> I, I, like, I like the idea of on date night, two people sitting there, gone, playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> three shots. <laughs> Animal Crossing. Four. <laughs> Man, yeah, gone home. Drunk. I'm gone home. I would almost have argued That's some l- Rayman Legends, but I think that those try moments... Try it. Just <laughs> try it. The <laughs> moments for Rayman Legends, <laughs> it's going to come up again in later categories for the reasons that I would say I like it for a date night, mm. and those reasons are so selective in comparison to Gone Home is like such an experience that start to finish that you will remember stuff, you will feel stuff, and it's something you can even talk about afterwards, whereas Rayman Legends, you're like, oh, we had some fun, and then 
flat, you know, yeah. you're done, but gone home, I mean, you can... I mean, coming from the perspective of not playing any of these games and just listening to the experience, I would have to go with Gone Home because my wife doesn't really play games, so she would more enjoy on a date night just sitting wa- watching, watching something you. like that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the time she's watched me play games, it's like she was interested in watching Bioshock because it was a good story. Yeah. She got into The Last of Us because it was, you know, they're, which both are kind of like, you know, movie experiences almost. Um, Definitely. So, yeah. Yes, but this ends up being like not so much like a video game game of the night as it is just like like a movie game a movie yeah. night that, that's i think there's a place for it though i think that's fine because gone home games, I mean, that's that's once and done video games and movies are like all right we're no, good they're not they're no yeah they are they're not at all i mean the First stories are getting stronger. shooters that's it I think, <laughs> well, I think Animal Crossing Family. is the only one that would have the legs to maybe go longer than yeah. you know, one place. That's why we play Animal Crossing for its stamina. That's Two more shots. <laughs> stamina. Day but, I mean, at Rayman Legends, my wife and I played through it, and once we were finished, I'm the only one that went back to try to do like 100% kind of stuff or any daily. So she was, I had my fun, I'm out. But All right. Is that you? What your wife does. That's, that's she what has she her says. Fun if she's out. Yeah. And I cry alone. <laughs> so leaves. what happens on date night? All right, I'm <laughs> done. I'm out. She leaves him to go back in and finish his 100. percent <laughs> Get all the achievements. The date night award. I uh, guess gone home. Final us Rayman Legends, Animal Crossing, New Leaf. Chop. Uh, <laughs> the f- let's see. The final <laughs> award for this section here. We'll take a little break after this one. Is the uh, open a window up again? <laughs> yeah. It's the quickie award. <laughs> oh. Right there, following the date, date night. Yeah, <laughs> this is. <laughs> you have fifty means, minutes to kill. What do you play? Any uh, nominees offhand? While I dig up desktop oh, all of them. dungeons. Our list is too tight, man. Desktop dungeons. It's, tight, <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Yeah, desktop dungeons is definitely rogue legacy. One more run. Cookie clicker, beta. <laughs> Cookie cl- I, I'm gonna put the, Cookie you've been playing that for like the last two hours though nuclear <laughs> and i have and been you, playing and it. you've not actually been playing and not it. actually touched it it <laughs> plays itself he's been killing a lot of 15 minute intervals <laughs> all right um let's see i'm gonna go at Sp- spelunky is I, I, it was nominated last year like i love i love spelunky was a big part of our 2013 that's the only but, one i yeah. want on the list but my Spelunky runs take 30 minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For me, it's Gunpoint. Gunpoint. Yep. Gunpoint. Yep. Um, Tiny Barbarian. That's a good one. I sat down and played that entire thing. Man, that game was tough. In one sitting. Risk of Rain. The whole Gunpoint or Tiny uh, Barbarian? Tiny Barbarian. Tiny I Barbarian. sat down and played in one sitting. So I that couldn't. was more than 15 minutes. I gave up. Mercenary King. And Risk of Rain took me 40 minutes to beat. Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> Why is that on here? <laughs> uh, is that like the the like you wake up and then you go and yeah. do all your you little daily your chores? And, yeah, you put it down. <laughs> yeah. When you, when you I felt that way with uh, Spelunky. Like every I'd get home daily and then challenge. I'd be like, oh, home, daily do daily challenge. Get home, do my daily challenge before Papers, Justin please. does his. <laughs> and Legend of Dungeon. <laughs> Gifford wants to change his game of the year vote. Gift. Hey, Giftor. <laughs> hey, I'm so glad he played a game this year. <laughs> I love you, Gifford. <laughs> <laughs> Any um. Any other nominees before we narrow this down? Starbound. Uh, it's beta. I, I think we should be sh- no, cautious be- of putting betas in here. We're good with because we have a beta award. Think, no, didn't we decide beta, if you can if you can pay money for it and are, play it, then it counts? In, yeah. Did we? Yeah. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah. I know Josh was pretty felt pretty strong about that. About what? If, if, you, if you if if you can pay money for it and play it, it, we have then podcast it's free game to be criticized. Well, no, we could criticize it, but I just mean in terms of this, like oh, oh yeah, I still agree. Like now's not the time to play Starbound, but I don't yeah. I, I don't think can I don't, play, I don't play Starbound can play, for fifteen minutes. Yeah, you can play <laughs> Starbound for fifteen minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. A, it's uh. I'll maybe go in with that mentality, but I have to also yeah. be okay with three hours going by. <laughs> yeah, that's how so, I feel about it. Yeah, so I'm gonna start. I don't think bound. Starbound's a quickie. Yeah. Okay, let's narrow this down. What would you like to cut? I don't think Tiny Barbarian's a quickie game. It's, I don't either. Yeah, you know, the platformers. You have to get into a rhythm with that yeah. game. Yeah. Um. 
<laughs> What's cookie think, clicker on there? Get that off. I'll say Mercenary Kings. Yeah, it's kind of the same boat. What? Mercenary Kings? What about? Put it on there. What do we say? It'll be good, but it's not. Compared to some of these, it does it doesn't Mercenary have legs Kings? yet. Oh, yeah. uh, how oh, often for, have you for, played Mercenary mm, Kings? A handful of times. Like as much as I want to play an early access game, but like the mission structure of it, you can just get in. I, I think oh, it's gonna okay. be, yeah, I get in, play a mission, get out. I think it's going to be good, but it it it, it would struggle with a lot of these. I think. Uh, and papers, papers, please. I like to get in a rhythm, rhythm with, so that's kind of why I cut it. I've heard both. I've heard people talk about that and say no, yeah. like no, you got to play it like a real work, like a real job, and just do your one day, and then just oh, all right. Yeah. And then I've heard other people say no, you just you got to start and just marathon it. So having not played it, but watched a bunch of people <laughs> yeah, Gifford, play it. I'm Minecraft not sure how I feel is the that. reason we struggle with the including betas because it was in beta for so long. So yeah. Um, Okay, so <laughs> it's not really much different right now than it than it was when it started. So, Risk of Rain, Nuclear Throne, Rogue Legacy, yes. Desktop Dun. Some of these games, it's it's the like yeah, if you get into a run and you fail, it's yeah, it could be over in fifteen minutes. I think Desktop yeah. Dungeons explicitly promotes itself as being a game that okay. you could play uh, for I, ten yeah. minutes. I'm fine with separating that one out. And then yeah, okay, Gunpoint is another okay. mission. Go in, get in and get out. Do a mission. I like yep. the the puzzle games that way. I could be, I'd be okay yeah. with that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever had a mission take me longer than ten minutes. Yeah, I just. Yeah. I don't, but I don't but also, there's an end to gunpoint. That's what I was thinking. That, that would be the only are, because there are user created levels at this point. But the yeah. only problem with gunpoint is it's a pretty quick experience. It's yeah. a really really good one. But I played that one completely through, and I think there's you know somewhat of a rhythm to that too. But they're just not. Yeah. Uh, these other games have. Uh, infinite almost you know playability and i think that kind of goes into the quickie award without being you know uh, without us stating that up front is you yeah, should be able yeah. to play this in 15 minute sections for the rest of your life i think then by the, that wouldn't we take didn't you beat risk in 40 minutes <laughs> it took me 40 minutes but if you fail i don't know if yeah. you actually keep going so it's if you're if you're awesome but could you like could you play is. it for the rest of your life i haven't played it enough to be able to judge you it, could but. you could play it for the rest of your life it's like it's but like you can't. It's like Binding of Isaac in there. In no, that so it's pretty random. Yeah, yeah. it randomizes certain yeah. elements. It's right. different every time you play, and your there's progression stuff. I'm gonna take off Legend Dungeon just because I think it's the weakest out of like. Yeah, like, I struggled with I that one. I would take that down. Um. Okay, cookie clicker. So I would take it off. <laughs> we take it off because it's, it's cute for a minute. Take it off because it's not healthy. One more time. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Don't want don't want to remind people about cookie clicker. <laughs> It's like a version two, man. <laughs> I'm I'm about to strike nuclear throne, mercenary kings, and papers, please. I would get rid of papers, please. Kings, I I, I really like throne. I choose Isn't legacy it? over throne. If, yeah. If we're putting those on a level, then I okay. Will. So we're okay, we're good with please the, and kings. Oh uh, yeah, I guess legacy is random. I was gonna yeah. say, is there an end to legacy, or is it you just keep playing? There's an yeah, end. initially, I mean, but it's yeah. I mean, but there's so I mean, there will. Yeah. It's so it's so random. Yeah. Yeah. And you could start okay. it over, and it would be a completely. Are we getting rid of Throne or? Yeah, I. I mean, I prefer Rogue Legacy and Risk of Rain over Throne. And Dungeon, yeah, I think Destiny. Throne is going to be great, but like yeah. right now, like it, yeah. you know, it doesn't have the meat as, uh, that some of these do. Okay, you just add someone that actually beat Risk of Rain, and Rogue Legacy, and oh, these you are close to all four of these games. I am. I've played all four of these. <laughs> I'm keeping desktop dungeons simply because it's a game yeah. you can play over and over, okay, 10 minute that? increments. Yeah. Rogue Legacy, I whenever I play that, I take longer than 15 minutes. Risk of Rain, I would probably be the same way. And New Leaf, yeah, you can pick up. I've I even had a rhythm back in the summer yeah. where I would pick that up, do a few things, and then put it away, and then I could come back to it like two hours later this and do is, the same this thing. This is desktop dungeons. Yeah, it's yeah. desktop dungeons. So I would I would cut. I I'm between cut, Rogue and Risk of Rain. Yeah, and I, I would cut al- one of those two. And I would almost cut... I, I would cut Rain just because yeah. we site-wide, we were so enthralled by Rogue Legacy. And, I would cut Rain okay. over Legacy. Uh-huh. And it's also got some issues as far as the balance goes, too, with that. Okay. When to succeed, you are gonna you have to play it longer than 15 minutes. Am I right on that? Like, you yeah, can yeah, die quickly. Yeah, but, but you, same thing I mean, with Rogue Legacy. Win. Like, I want to be careful with that. Like, I can do a 15-minute Rogue Legacy run if I just want to go get, like... Do just assert. Never mind. I, oh, I, I think a good way to to describe 
Rogue Legacy and Risk of Rain is Rogue Legacy, you can go in there with the mindset of, I will do a quick, like a money run, or I'll just get myself some experience. I'll do one quick run. You can even kill yourself, yeah. get the money or whatever, and then level up and then put that game down. Whereas Risk of Rain, yeah. you don't get 15 minutes into it and think, okay, I'll stop and then I'll come back to this. You have to either win or lose, and yeah. that's the end of it. There's no, you're yeah. not building towards something. You've just cut your game short. Mm-hmm. So I think Legacy works. One step higher than Risk of Rain. All right. Yeah. Um, who is not voting for Desktop Dungeons? Because that seems to be where we're headed. I, I didn't I'm play it, so I'm, I'm going to stay out. I had to Google one. it. So. <laughs> Does that mean you're voting for a new leaf? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to vote for a new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot. Take a shot. Take two shots. Um, I, did I make the right assumption, desktop, Ethan? Desktop Dungeons, to me, I, I love Rogue Legacy, don't get me wrong. But I think that if, if Desktop Dungeons is such a tight experience and the 15 minutes to me is not just actually playing it but also learning how to play it, okay? And like, because you have to. And it's so, there's there's a, somewhat of a high barrier of difficulty to get into it, you know? Um, but it, it, is, it, is, it is packaged as the perfect 15-minute game. Sessions yeah. should not take you more than 15 minutes. You also have progression that you get. So you can go in, you can lose, but you can also, you know, uh, get a new item or do that kind of stuff. I mean, it is yeah. built to be a 15-minute game. It's a unique concept. Um, not that Rogue Legacy wasn't, but we've seen a Rogue Legacy in, in one way or another. Dun- Desktop Dungeon yeah. stands apart from all these because yeah. it has everything you want from a roguelike, but it also has this this puzzle element that just that makes you want to keep coming back Definitely. 15 minutes at a time. All right. Unanimous. We got it. Let's not do that. All right. So the quickie award goes to Desktop Dungeons, the other finalists, Rogue Legacy, Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm fine with that. As long, as, animal, an, as, long as Animal Crossing doesn't win. Oh, was no one <laughs> arguing for Rogue Legacy? Bitch. I didn't even need to sell it then. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got to defend this. And I no, didn't I, no, this. That, that 15 minutes a day is a waste of your time on Animal Crossing. <laughs> that is just bad game design. No, I think... Uh, I, th- I think it was worth bringing up the argument for Rogue Legacy too. So yeah. Um, just to recap our first batch here, um, we are going to need to speed this up. But <laughs> are but, we? What? Yeah, we're two. Yeah, we're two hours in. So two hours for eight awards, and we're out of forty. Jeez. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Um, Remember me takes the next eight. <laughs> right. But this first, the first oh, we're batch rolling here. Now we're cooking. Uh, just animal. to recap the winners. <laughs> Uh, so far in the 2013 Grimmies, uh, winner for Best Brosif goes to Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Winner of Best Guns is the Skyhook from Bioshock Infinite. We were on a trend there. The Best Hype Package goes to Blood Dragon. Uh, best Trucks is are the Euro Trucks from Euro Truck Simulator 2. Best Digital Butt goes to Laura Croft's Hair. <laughs> <laughs> More of these awards goes to Blood Dragon. The Date Night Award goes to Gone Home, and the Quickie Award goes to Desktop Dungeons. 